本ファルコムコーポレーション Okay, here we are again. Uh, hold on a second, I gotta be able to see all of my audio levels at a glance. There we go. In my OBS. I was running a little behind today, actually. There was, um, excuse me. I usually don't watch TV, like, at all anymore, and usually when I do, it's because my dad has a program on, and I'm in the same room as him while I'm, like, eating or something, so he had uh, an old crime procedural on today, not that old, I guess, called In the Heat of the Night. I think it predates me by a couple of years. It started, I think, in the 80s and ran in the 90s a little bit, and the episode that was on today was about racism in a small Mississippi town. I was like, okay, this might actually be kind of interesting. But they did that thing that a lot of crime procedurals still do nowadays, where they present a villain that seems like the obvious choice for a crime procedural based on a racism dead, episode. But I am alive, so here we are, and I am back. then that person had nothing to do with it, and it was... Like, okay, so all these people in the town are racist towards this person, but the person that they're being racist towards dies, and none of the people who are racist toward him had anything to do with it. In reality, it was like some family-oriented drama because he was having an affair with somebody's wife. And I was like, that's kind of disappointing. I wanted it to be racism and them to punish a racist for being racist. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that ran until, uh, you know... Four o'clock exactly, so I was running a little behind, but we're here, so. And Lifeblood and Marie are here. Hello, how's everybody doing? Lifeblood, thank you for resubscribing. That is 13 months, I appreciate that. That's, I'm gonna say, tridecachromatic, something like that. So thank you for that, appreciate it. Thought you were dead, but you are alive, so here we are, and you are back. Yes, that is true, welcome back. Almost forgot about the stream day, got a new job. We'll be an insurance saleswoman after you go through all the paywall stuff in the beginning. Great. Well, congrats on the new job. Hopefully it's less shitty than the previous couple. <laughs> I, I hope, really genuinely do hope it is a little bit better for you. Because the last couple, from what I understand from what you've said, have been a little... A little iffy. <laughs> so. Alright, yeah, welcome back everybody. Uh, it's 4.31, 4.32 already, so I'm going to take a drink and we'll get started. <sighs> yeah, it shouldn't be as bad as tech support. Boy, I hope not. I'll tell you what, tech support sucks, but I hope not for your sake. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hell yeah, more lifeblood's a good thing. Oh, you moved? Okay, mostly over. You should be able to show up more. And brand new news, you're typing this from your PC? Oh, nice. Congrats brand new PC? If it is, congrats. If not, well, I'm glad the old one still works. Because <laughs> I've, I've ran into that problem headlong with my old PC, finally my old laptop. Finally deciding to be like, eh, I don't want to work too well for you anymore. It's like, oh, okay. So just, I mean, 
you are like my old laptop is like almost eight years old at this point, so it's not really shocking. Then again, if Toll looked at my laptop when I first got it, he'd think it was a baby, just like with Unica. But, uh, well, I don't think he'd know what a laptop is, considering when East takes place. Uh, this seg was not very good. How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to East Origins Stream Edition. Last time, we began our adventures as the third and final character story campaign in the game, Riku, I mean Toho. And we are climbing the tower once again. We did uh, the first, I don't know, like half of the Guilty Fire in the first two areas last time. So now we're going to... We teleported back to exactly where we were, so we're going to go get the firepower. And once we get the firepower, we can get the hell out of here. So, oh, I still have Godspeed, but okay. That's fine. Oop. I missed for a second because I didn't turn around. Probably because I had the, the D-pad set somewhat. Uh, okay. This area was here the last time too, right? Because there was like a lead-up area, if I remember right, to the firepower. I just felt like last time we got the firepower so quickly that I, did, I don't really remember this little section, but... No. It's okay. I remembered that the layout was different on that one screen. That's enough. Level up. Nice. Now I can really fight Xion, except I already beat Xion, so. It is a new one. Okay, good. That's good. Brand new PC. Your old one has a screen broken and is going dead on you, so you got a new one was in order. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, congrats on the new one. Again, hopefully it's uh, very solid for you. That's new computer's a good thing. Have Riku, how dare you? No, he's totally Riku, but still, he even has the same unlock. He's not Riku, I swear to God. <laughs> Yeah, Riku doesn't use claws, to be fair, but the the look is, like, slightly older Riku. Let's just hope he doesn't find the final boss by smelling him. Otherwise, I'll be like, okay, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> well, at least it makes a little bit more sense for Toll to take the fire sword from Commander Tova than it did for Hugo to take it. Like, Toll at least has something of a relationship with... Commander Tova, since he was like his second in command, but Hugo didn't really have a, a reason, and he still took it. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't, so. Maybe we should honor his legacy. Maybe we shouldn't, because his legacy is for me to take the sword anyway. Because <laughs> there he is, in the not flesh, because he's ethereal, but you know what I mean. It has been a while, hasn't it? Sup, Commander? I didn't know you were haunting the sword. At least, Toll didn't, anyway. You know, if they're spying on you right now, Toll, do you think they're gonna be okay with you taking a knee to a sword? I mean, isn't that like a sign of loyalty? Wouldn't the, the Darklings be a little upset by that? <laughs> so. Riku's hair color is totally different. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's more, like, lavender, because, like, Toll's is just kind of whitish. Riku's is a little more lavender-colored, so, yeah. That's fair. Does one of you know some annoying parts of writing all three characters climbing the tower at the same time? You're almost at the part, so you can explain soon. Fucking Blighted Blood is the most annoying. Fuck that area for writing, yeah. And it's unassuming, too, because, like, we've gotten through the Blighted Blood gameplay-wise, no problem with all three characters, but from a writing perspective, trying to make everything canon, it's like, oof. I, I don't know. <laughs> he, You did die because we weren't... See, I don't think we filled in the details of what Toll wasn't able to do when Kishkel killed Saul yet, so maybe we'll get an answer now. I think that was one of my questions, actually. So, we'll see. Can you still do that from the, I was gonna say, the afterlife? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you gonna give me the sword? Okay, thanks, buddy. <laughs> And we get access to Inferno! Well, at least it's not Dark Fyraga. Uh, let's see. So, a rising attack. Okay, so this is the move that I needed for that last boss, then, in the, uh, the flooded prison. Because we needed an upward attack. 
Uh, during Tull's Rising Strike, he's invulnerable to enemy attacks. Not only is his skill immensely powerful, it's also useful for blocking hits from foes. Okay, so this is like Thunder Crash plus Shin Ryuken. Cool, I'll use it. Also useful for traversing large gaps. Okay, so maybe we can use this to get across that gap that I couldn't quite get across before. Uh, the one that was the Mask of Eyes Bridge, but we don't have the mask, so... Yeah, we might be able to use it for that. This is your block, yeah, there you go. Okay. It's a fucking rabbit hole you're diving into? Oh boy. <laughs> I'm asking the wrong questions. Guess who took a deep dive into the Metal Gear lore because of a boss rush of the first Metal Gear boss compilation? Oh boy. <laughs> that also sounds like, yeah. Maybe that was what you were referring to, that being a rabbit hole to dive into. Began because Ocelot and Old and Snake having the name David and not John. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I didn't know that. I haven't done a deep dive on Metal Gear lore myself, so... Didn't want to spoil myself in case I ever decided to play Metal Gear Solid 1 through 4. One day, maybe. Not sure, honestly. Yeah, well, fair enough. You took your charge of your destiny by leaving the house, so why are you hesitating now? You know? I will try to do you proud, Commander. Bye. Yeah, like, see, this is much more, again, heartfelt than, like, like, Unicas and Tolls were both good because, again, they both had a relationship with Commander Saul, but... Uh, Hugo is just kind of like, I'm just gonna take this sword and turn it into dark energy. <laughs> Like, okay, Hugo. It's cool, man. You do you. I am questioning myself. I can answer that question while I run. Alright, off we go. Uh, actually, let me check this out real quick first. I mean, it gives me a little height. Uh, hold on. It doesn't give me a little height from a jump. I kind of wished it would, because then I could, you know actually use it for that jump that I was talking about, but I probably just need to be... I need to get good at Godspeed, probably, like, mid-jump to do it, but... I don't know. Shot right through that guy. It's weird, I can't tell, like, when you turn, like, you turn to face the guy. Maybe it's a set distance that you turn and face them after you teleport behind them with Godspeed. Because sometimes it just teleports me straight across the battlefield, and I'm like, I'm not holding down a direction at that point, so it's, I don't know what's causing me to teleport all the way over, but... And it's fine. I just... just need to figure it out, that's all. Alright, let's get back to the save point, and I'll read chat while I'm here. Also gonna need this for lighting up that torch outside, so let's do that too. There are different snakes, but now you would start spoiling, so you'll shut up. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to talk about that stuff when it's like, well, I haven't seen it, and it's like, oh crap. Exactly why this was annoying to write. If you still have a rota fruit, don't think you gave it to the ruin, the wailing blue, in case you want to break the game harder. I'll check. I think we gave it to the root back there. I forget. Well, we'll go see. We'll go see in a minute. Um, is that 1792? Yeah, I don't have enough. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll, we'll check in a sec. As soon as it saves. There we go. We'll check right now. Uh, be an inventory. I do have a road fruit. Okay. Um, we gave it to the one in the flooded prison. Because I remember doing that one and getting the topaz from him. And we gave it to the one in the first level as well, because we got the claws to level two, and now they're level three because we found the other clary ore. So I think this road of fruit we found in the guilty fire. So we will need to give this to the rue that's in this level, I, I think. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think. So we're gonna we're gonna find out in a minute. Just light this up first. Don't remember? Oh, that's okay. Well, if we're missing some offense at the end of the guilty fire, I'll go back and I'll see because, I mean, it's possible. So. Oh, you know, actually, 
It doesn't give me uh, vertical momentum. It gives me a little horizontal momentum, kind of like the uh, the windshield that. Uh... Are you on level with me? Yeah, you are. Okay, well, I'm down here now. It doesn't give me vertical momentum like I was kind of hoping it would, like maybe it'd be almost a second jump, but it gives me horizontal momentum kind of similar to the windshield that uh, Hugo uses. Uh, that's cool. Alright, uh, you know, so I might as well kill these guys while I'm down here, you know. Oh, there's a slide that I can't get used to using. Maybe one day. Maybe that's the fruit for this section, then? Yeah, I think so. Oh, another skill tree. Lovely, yeah. Yeah, everybody gets a skill tree in this one. But yeah, so it gives you a little bit of horizontal momentum. It's actually kind of nice, because if there's enemies on the platform that you're going towards, you can kind of approach them a little safer as well. So, that's cool. The slide, the best fucking dash attack, yeah. I don't know, I have trouble with the dash attacks in this game. I had less trouble with it with uh, Hugo, but that's because I could be at range with it, and it was like a projectile. So. But maybe I'll get used to it. Okay, there. So you can kind of... It's, it's just a smash attack, basically, from Smash Bros. So. If you can do that, then you can do the slide, so... I got it after it was important, after I already killed everything, so that's great. Let's not forget this this time. I think I forgot that with Unica, if I remember right, so. We got level 3 Thunderclaw, so that's good. Yeah, I'm feeling the dash attacks being kind of awkward, honestly. Like, sometimes it feels like they work and sometimes they don't. I mean, it's probably me, but like, I don't know, sometimes it feels like the input's a little funky. It's not like... It doesn't feel like it's always the same, I guess. It's kind of weird. Actually, a tiny bit of timing to it, and there are guides on how to do it on PC because the manual is not helpful. Oh, great. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, which way do I go, George? This way. Whoop. Not like that, though. Hang on, I'm gonna miss my train. There we go. Uh, I probably need Godspeed for this jump. Yep. I'm not going to use Godspeed here. Oh, look, I knocked that out of the air with my claws. I use it here, though. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think if I should go back to that one room, because I didn't get the thing that was across the uh, across the way from that Mask of Eyes bridge. So I'm trying to think if I should go back and try to get that now while I'm thinking about it. Probably. Uh, where's the elevator up here? Oh, there it is. Probably shouldn't be blasting through all the enemies like this either, but, eh, you know, it's probably fine. Okay, shurikens. Excuse me, pardon me. Yeah, right here. Here we go. See, it's, like, just barely not enough. Maybe I need to, like, do something different from what I'm doing to get me there. Let me get rid of all these enemies while I'm at it. Like, I think I used it when I was, um, in demon form, too, and it didn't, uh, still didn't give me enough momentum horizontally to get there. I could be misremembering, but I think that's what it did. Like, it looks like it would have enough on the ground when you fully charge it, but, well, that's on the ground. Maybe I could do, like, a chain dash. Like, there's a way that you can kind of chain together the wind dashes if you just mash. So, like, if I hold this down and then I do a dash and then I, like, mash. So, like... No. Okay, that's not it. Hmm. Switch midair to fire to get more momentum. I mean, that's a thought, yeah. Like, uh... You know, maybe I could do it like this. Okay. What I was thinking I could do there is I could get, like, some starting jump momentum from the fire. 
and then switch to wind and use it, but... Uh, maybe if I do it at the top of my jump, maybe then I can make it. Let's go see. So. Yeah, the complicated path. Dash attacks are like a bike. Once you get them, you probably won't ever completely forget how to do them. Yeah, there you go. Even a year out from playing the East game, you can still go. Yeah, so... Okay, see, it's like just barely not enough. Maybe... Do I get more momentum with it from charging it? I mean, I can't charge it now, obviously, but... Oh, okay. Never mind. I got across it. I guess I just wasn't hitting it right the other times. All right. Fair enough. It wasn't really that worth it anyway, though, because it's just 2,000 SP. I mean, that's good. Don't get me wrong. It's just... It's not like something that's required to proceed, you know? So... Ah, oh, whatever. We got it. That's the important part. All right, now we can move along. Maybe take some of his life energy so I can uh, use it for the purpose of becoming more demonic. All right, let's see. Oh, we don't need that yet. Just use this kind of slide around a little bit. It is kind of nice, though, to give it yourself, because it's, it's familiar, almost, the, the way that it interacts, the, um, the, the gliding that you get out of the, uh, fire attack. Okay, that's not going to work in my favor. That might, though. Uh, but yeah, the way that the gliding works is very similar to how the gliding worked for Hugo, so... Pretty simple to, uh, to use because of that. Excuse me. Just gonna hop right over. There we go. Uh, nothing to light up here. So let's just keep going, shall we? Oh, one of the. Uh, Chimes is here again. I wonder if I've got to like hit a specific one. I wonder if I can like sequence break by doing it early. I forget which one it was. Maybe I got to do it with the fire though. It's this one I think, because this one looks a little different than the other ones. Although this one has a crack in it, so. Yeah, it's this one right here. But I don't think I can break it until I go upstairs, so. No sequence breaking for me. Unfortunately. It's okay, though. We'll get it. Nice, thanks for the HP, dude. I remembered to jump over that guy that time so I didn't get cooked when I was trying to Thunderclaw him. This is a uh, fire attack still goes out even though I'm drawing him in. It doesn't, like, stun him enough to take him out of the animation, so. Uh, probably not a good idea to use this here. I'll just wait it out there, bro. And in here, here's a ruby, so now we can charge it up. So. Let's see. Yeah, F. Yes, you do, in case you want to use Inferno later. Okay, gotcha. Hot axe. No, that's just a detail. Hugo hasn't gotten this far on his climb. Yeah, that's that's fair, yeah. Okay, so we charge this up. And yeah, we go a little higher and we get a little more AoE out of it. Okay, that's cool. I will attempt to use it. Ow. And not impale myself on the side of a spike while I'm at it. Alright, I'm just going to hop over this, this uh, hot blade here. Here, like that. Oh, good, that even pushed me out of the way of this guy. And then I still got hit by his fire because I didn't jump. Uh, I, I'm do as I say, not as I do. There you go. All right, extra boost. Unpurify the statue. There we go. We have 5,700, so we can buy the terrain one now. Also watch from Devil May Cry 5 uh, final boss, so yeah, you failed that fight hard. Oh, I know. 
I am aware. Uh, a lot of the videos that are on YouTube of any of the boss fights in Devil May Cry 5 were significantly more finessed than mine. And I'm okay with it because those people have been playing the game for potentially months or years, whereas I was playing it for the first time and am bad at most of those sorts of twitchy action games, so <laughs> it's fine. I'm aware of my shortcomings. I uh, might be able to fix them with practice, it just might take a little while, so. But yeah, I've seen some of the other ones where people do crazy challenges with the final boss fights too. Like I posted uh, one in the Discord server where after the beginning of the fight, once the person left the ground, they were not allowed to touch the ground again until Virgil was dead. That was insane. Like, I... <laughs> They, they came so close to hitting the ground so many times and they would just be like, Okay, punchline, get over here. I gotta, I gotta use you as a jet board again. <laughs> it was obscene. It was absolutely absurd. The Devil's Corridor. You know what? Probably the road of fruit is for the Rue that's here in the Devil's Corridor. That's probably what it is, so... It's true, but we don't have the time for that. Yeah, unfortunately... I can't practice it for years because I'd be playing it like a speedrunner at that point. I'd be playing it every time I come on the stream. And I have, uh, how many other projects do I have at this point? <laughs> Let me look at the list. Uh, not including the housekeeping that we're doing. Let me look at the list. I have it at the bottom of the list, like a total. So not including the housekeeping that we're doing. I have 53 more action games to play and 51 more RPGs to play. If we add Kingdoms of Amalur to that list, like I was saying last time, I don't know if I'm doing that yet, but that's that's 103 or 104 more projects. That's a lot. Oh, it's Unica. She's not conscious. Great. Well, let's get her the hell out of here because we've got the harmonica, and I think we have the harmonica. I'm pretty sure Fina gave it to us last time, so... Also, I don't know if the demon statue is going to help her very much. That might be why she was unconscious uh, in the hallway, because it's, she didn't use the statue. <laughs> Can finally say it after this. Oh, boy. Yeah, I was going to say, are you going to give her back the lotus blade? Because, like, then she can use it for her purposes, you know? Well, I mean, it's crafty, I guess. Oh, okay, just go into demon mode to nullify the effect. Or... Use the harmonica. Any chance you can play harmonica there, Toel? Or are you going to give that to Unica, too? <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright, fair enough. So we just got to run through the corridor. Uh... With this, oh, I can just walk right through the statue if I go at the right angle. That's weird. Sorry, I'm just messing around at this point. <laughs> I walked right through it. Anyway, so we'll just transform and we'll go through it. I would think, though, if he's not going to use it, he would give it to Unica so she could use it. But maybe it's like a, an important plot device for later. I don't know. Um, let me put Godspeed on because we're probably going to need it to get through the hallway. So, all right, let's pop this on. Bye. Does this give me more boost? Sure does. Sweet, so now I can kind of slide my way through here. Kill these guys while I'm in demon form. I gotta be careful, of course, because I have to get my boost back. But I need to kill these red guys anyway, because they uh, unlock the hallway, so. Alright, there we go. This is health, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Hello there, Saru. I forgot to talk to you in demon form, because then I could understand what you're saying, but I kind of ran out and didn't think about it. Well, anyway, let's give him the fruit, so that he can, uh... Yeah, so the Devil's Corridor deals 9 damage per second to you if you're not in... So, in Unica's case, you could play the harmonica, and it gets rid of the music. In Hugo's case, you had to go back downstairs to break one of the uh, pillars that I was I was saying, maybe I can break this pillar, like, a couple of floors back. 
Uh, maybe I can break this pillar and sequence break the Devil's Corridor. Hugo has to break it in order to continue because he doesn't get the harmonica. Toll gets the harmonica but doesn't use it. He just says, eh, I can just demon form through it. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, if you don't use uh, demon form or... Basically, if you don't break the this curse or use demon form, you take 9 damage per second, so it quickly kills you. Which is not good. Here's a ring of ease. Well, let's take a look at... Uh... Oh, okay, cool. Now I can use Thunderclaw more. <laughs> As if it wasn't already one of the best skills in his kit, now we can double down on it. Fun. Uh, let's see. So, Green Ring has a calming effect on its wear. Reduces MP consumption. I get less of a powerful move, but I reduce my MP consumption. See, this is what I expected the accessories in this game to do, and now I'm kind of like, eh. Well, actually, this is probably the most useful thing in this area because of the... Because of the mist, you know. So, alright. Excuse me. But yeah, it does like eight or nine damage to you per second if you don't. Uh, oh, hang on. Thunderclaw. And these guys, I got to beat all in one go, apparently. So, uh, I think I need to get out of here though, because I'm kind of. I mean, I guess I can just keep thunderclawing him and you know slowly regenerate my HP. I'm also able to boost now, so that's good. Okay, now I can just do that and not have to worry about it. More boost. Fantastic. So we could probably make it through here without too many problems. Then, since, you know, I got extra boosts. I got all that stuff, so... There's probably extra boost up here as well. Probably right here. Hold on. Having more trouble breaking a pot than I am breaking these guys. There we go. I suppose this sort of preserves the canon a little bit, though, for Unica and Hugo, because if you broke the curse on the Devil's Corridor as Tull, they wouldn't have to do it, so I guess in a way it makes sense. Of course, they haven't really been paying attention to the canon previous to this anyway, but, you know... Let me get the heck out of here. There's Clary Ore over here, if I remember it correctly. Yeah, and then the other way is the way forward. Cool. This should help, especially since I just lost three strength from unequipping the uh, that there ring. So that'll give me a little extra. Gives me, uh, I think we were at 34 before, so it gave me plus 15, nice. All right, cool. This is where you can finally make it easier to write this part. Long blurb incoming. Kishkel and Toll found Fina at the same time. Unica and Hugo both get there and team up to fight them, but get destroyed by the demon forms of the former. After they get rescued by reinforcements, Hugo storms off and finds a lotus blade first. He does drain some of the power, but leaves the sword. Toll finds it and resonates with his demonic element and gets the sword. Then after he saves Unica, he gives the sword to her. All characters have their moments with Saul. Unica is just unconscious and thinks it was a dream after she comes to. Either way, it gives a Lotus Blade to Unica, and everyone gets fire magic since Hugo draining the sword just made his magic stronger. So he had thunder and fire magic in the Flood of Prison, attribute that to his own natural talent. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that last time, yeah. So I guess that way you can kind of make sense of it canonically. So, yeah, that works. Sounds all like Dark Souls items. Yeah, kind of in a way. Hey, listen, if we get something that increases my HP, strength, and defense all at once, I'm going to be like, okay, Ring of Favor and Protection, a go-go. Uh, you know, I think I get a natural HP recovery out in these hallways, right? Yeah. So I might as well just let myself uh, top off first before I go back in. Probably should have charged all the way as well, but... I mean, I'll get max boost down here, because I think there's a pot to break. And, I mean, I'll only be in this section for a second anyway, so... I can just walk this way and get out of here, so... Am I doing 60-something damage to those guys now? I think I just did do, like, 60-something damage to those guys. Not these guys, but... Yeah. I mean, 42 to those guys with that. I think we were doing, like, 20-something before, so... That's impressive. Uh... Hold the phone. Ha! 
think I see it. Hold on, I gotta go down here first. Uh, I mean, I guess I could just do that. And that works too. Okay. <laughs> Spirit Cape! Spirit Cape. Cool. So that will let me stationary heal as well. So let's do that to top off right now. And once we're topped off, we'll uh, we'll move along. Uh, Tilder, Unico with no harmonica gets here first, passes out and nearly dies. Then Toll gets here and rescues her and gives her the sword. Then she wakes up to get the sword, but Hugo's already gotten rid of the issue with the sound. This means Toll gets to keep the harmonica, and it all kind of makes sense. Just took a lot of creative r liberties when rewriting this. Fuck. <laughs> really making you work for your canon, aren't they? Oh boy. Reminds you of the jump pads in Rayman M. Yeah, I was gonna say they remind me of jump pads and something else as well. Maybe it's the sound effect, but I can't quite tell. Okay, that's not gonna get me across there. There we go. Where'd you go, little chicken? Did you go up here? Probably. Blast right here. Not going to lava because I'll, I'll die. Now get rid of his backup while we're at it. Maybe it's the type of enemy that prevents me from turning and facing them, because like smaller enemies it seems like it's harder to turn and face them. But larger ones not so much. So alright, I'm not gonna be able to do that here. I guess I gotta actually do the the jump section here, don't I? That's fine. Probably just hop down here, right? Whoa! Uh. <laughs> not again! I have to stop. This is not okay. <laughs> I have to stop doing that. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> yeah, it's it's the port there, Lifeblood. Apparently, the PS4 port has a few bugs. We found at least one bug in every character's playthrough. Uh, in Unica mode, the boss fight coming up in Rideau's Annex completely bugged out on me, and the boss just... the minions that the boss had just took a coffee break like halfway through the whole fight. Uh, what was it in Hugo's mode? I forget what it was in Hugo's mode, but he, he had a bug as well. Uh, I don't remember what it was. It was something, though. And uh, apparently there's that now with this, so I can just go walk on the walls. That guy jumped down, I'll just let him be down there. But yeah, the port apparently, the PS4 port apparently has a few issues. <laughs> it's okay. I'm okay with it. Shinra, you can- No, I need is the Tenshio Kyaku and I'll be in good shape. I probably didn't say that correctly. I also like the uppercut, so all of Toll's skills I enjoy. That's good. Uh, this is a stationary area, so... The blighted blood is worse because we have no real frames of reference for how fast everyone is moving and it feels like it keeps changing, yeah. I guess so, because Unica was behind us before she was with the search party that got picked up Xion, so... And then all of a sudden she's in front of us? I mean, I guess we might have taken a while with our little monologues in Rideau's Annex, but... Yeah. That's sure you can, you ignoramus. Okay, wait, hang on, though. No. I thought sure you can was the normal one, and then Shinryu can is the one that's on fire. I could have sworn that was what it was. Now, I have not played a lot of Street Fighter, so I could be completely off base on that, but I thought that was how it worked. I'm not 100% sure, though, so. I, again, I could be completely wrong, but that was what I thought it was, and so that's why I'm referring to it as Shinri. So, I don't think there's anything in that pot. Oh, well. I mean, I got a level up, so I guess it doesn't matter. Gotcha. Okay, so this is the switch room. And I can kill those guys in one hit now. Nice. Need that. Probably get a little more mileage out of um, 
well, anything but Thunderclaw in the next section. Because I'm kind of using it a lot here. But it's because it's the fire area, so I don't know if it makes too much sense to be killing the fire demons with the fire attack, you know? I mean, it was working before, to be fair, so it probably just won't work very well in the slimes, that's all. Uh, I think I have to go down here first, because I think if I remember right, you have to play the scene before you can undo the, uh, the flames. There is a fire one, never mind me. No, that's okay, Lifeblood. It's all good. I just, I was like, wait a minute, no, I could have sworn. That was why I specifically said Shin Ryuken. I would have just said Shore Ryuken, but it's like, wait a minute, no, one of these is on fire. <laughs> don't fucking know. You don't play fighting games. Yeah, there you go. Sonic Battle and L Sword don't count, or it's technically of another fighter. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what got us all tripped up, is because I think. Does Ken do the Shin Ryuken? I think it's a Ken exclusive, and Ryu's is the Shore Ryuken. And then the Shin Shore Yukon is a special. I think the Ten Shokyaku is another fighter, though. That's Chun Li. Uh, and then Guile's got the most, uh, the easiest to remember because I am not Japanese, which is Sonic Boom. You couldn't see me doing it, but I actually made the motion with my hands for the Sonic Boom. <laughs> so, okay, here's the switches. Uh, I'm gonna save, actually, because I think we can go over here and save first before we go get the thing, so I'm gonna go do that. Oh, God. Look at all this fire! And the, uh, Thunderclaw isn't the most helpful thing here. I probably should just be using the, uh, well, I should be using the demon form, too, but, you know. Yeah, cutscene magic, go. Exactly. So now, we'll, uh, save... I don't think I have enough for the next upgrade, but I will after we're done with this little section here, so. Excuse me, we'll go uh, take care of the flames and then we can open up the Devil's Corridor here. Or not the Devil's Corridor, the, uh, the Constructs Chamber. There we go. We already opened up the Devil's Corridor by not interacting with it hardly at all. Alright. I guess, uh, Toll also gets, like, a technical... Uh, where you can sequence, not sequence break, but move faster. Uh, Hugo had it with the eyes of fact. If you brush up against the wall, he can kind of move faster. Toll can kind of do it too. Like, you'll see me move a little quicker than usual in certain cases here. So. Ooh. Well, right idea. Wrong execution, again. There we go. Uh, sure, I'll use Godspeed on these guys. Why not? I can do that, too. I'm gonna draw that guy in for me. There's one. Oh, nice. I don't usually count on those health pickups, so it's kind of nice when they just happen randomly. It, it's helpful, I guess. Alright, pop these bad boys. Like we're at the Tropical Island in Final Fantasy 2. Oh, I still have to get to that game. There's so many RPGs, man, that it's like... I, I keep saying, no, I gotta get to it, I gotta get to it, but there's so many RPGs on that list. There's, like, multiple Final Fantasies on that list. There's uh, Chrono Cross, there's Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. I got a lot of work to do. Also gotta find the action games to play in between them. Why don't you come down here and say that to me? But, well, I did. So that's good. I thought he was gonna jump away for a second. Like, you crafty bastard. No, not quite. Alright, so let's get this, since that guy jumped away from the Calcet and Panacea he was guarding. Pretty sure Zava and the bunch aren't gonna appreciate you doing that. But anyway. Let's use that. Uh... I guess I don't really need the water dragon scales now, do I? So, I just won't bother with that for now. 
That's not gonna do it. That'll do it, though. Alright, now that we got that, let's head back. And, uh... Yeah, did you see how I slid really quickly there? When I was, uh, brushing up against the wall? Can do a little speed buffer. I still don't understand how I find this stuff, like... Just by randomly doing shit, I just find random speedrunning techniques, like the... The sequence break we found in Threads of Fate with the fire spell, then there's that thing that you use to get extra speed if you if you know what you're doing. I guess the one in God of War wasn't really a, a speedrunning technique, it was just a way to make yourself invulnerable forever, but, you know... Well, it wasn't invulnerable, but it was time stop forever. Did we already go up this way? No, this just leads back to the, the normal way. I guess we can go this way because then I can kill these guys and go to the the one that's on the previous screen, and uh, then I can come back. Because it doesn't really feel like grinding if they're in my way anyway, you know? Hang on, let me check chat. I haven't checked in a minute. Chain of Memories is an RPG. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could make the argument that it's not really. I consider it an RPG. I guess it's more of like a... What would you even call it, genre-wise? It's kind of like an action game with cards, but you have to build the decks. So I guess in a way, it's an RPG in the same way that a Yu-Gi-Oh game it would be an RPG. <laughs> Who knew Chain of Memories was related to Rechef of Destruction? Good lord. I don't even know if anybody's going to know what that game is. I mean, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh game, obviously, because I just said that, but... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that game was, uh, we, we won't be playing that one for the stream. That game was a grind and a half, I'll tell you what. Let's see. Yeah, Sonic Boom is the equivalent to the Hadouken. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what, uh, yeah, I don't know what, uh, Guile's Shoryuken equivalent would be. I'm, I'm just aware of the Sonic Boom. Love and hate this next boss. Why? It took you, like, 13 tries on Nightmare to beat it once. Oh, my God. Then came the Silent Sands, where the first room of combat almost killed you. Yeah, Silent Sands is the next area, yep. So, that's why it's just a short game that you only had to play once, basically. <laughs> yeah. The cards and stuff, but then it's an action game. Yeah, I guess that's true, so. I, I guess you could say maybe, like, it's an action RPG, but it's kind of, I guess in a way it's like a little bit of a hybrid. In my mind, it's like an action RPG, like all the other Kingdom Hearts games, but you could make the case for one or the other, really. Like, if I think of a game that's more of an action game, I don't... Chain of Memories isn't the first one to come to mind, obviously. Um, there's... Like, this game is probably more of an action game than Chain of Memories is, honestly, but, yeah. Speedrunners hate him because of one simple trick. Every game I find one simple trick, yeah. <laughs> Wish you had my luck to be cursed to find speedrun tech. You got cursed with being eternally cute, apparently. I don't know, I... I, I feel, I mean, if you want to trade, <laughs> I'd be okay with that. I don't know, I would I would count your blessings where you have them, Marie. <laughs> you got, got it, Chain of Memories is a rhythm game. You, there is timing to the three-hit combo system, so yeah, you could make that argument, actually. I, I mean, it wouldn't be the first thing that came to mind for me, but I could see you making that argument. So... That's three. Uh, I might as well kill these guys while I'm here, I guess. Get a little extra EXP. There was nothing in this pot, right? Oh, it was boost max. Okay. I mean, Melody of Memory is more of a rhythm game than Chain of Memories is, but that's just comparing within the same series, so it's like, you know... It's almost not even necessary to compare at that point, because it's like, okay, well... And I mean, I know you were probably not being serious, but like, I don't know. I, I could see it. That was a lot of SP I just got right there. I mean, there's a lot of little ones, but the little ones add up. I'm gonna boost for this. Fuck you, eat boosted charged thunderclaw. There. I wish I could like, see, I keep hitting, um, I keep hitting triangle to break myself out of demon mode because I'm so used to devil trigger. 
being able to break out of Devil Trigger whenever I want to from Devil May Cry 5. Apparently I have muscle memory for that, even though I, by most people's standards, I barely use Devil Trigger. <laughs> oh well. You're just cursed to be lucky? Hey, that's not a bad thing either, so... Can't not be cute. I hate it. It caused your boyfriend to correctly ID you as a scenario. <laughs> oh boy. You're kidding. Don't make you rethink that. No, that's okay. You are a Sundare. That is pure comedy diamond. There you go. Makes makes it makes it funnier for everybody around you, so that's that's a good thing. It's always good when you can make people laugh. So Alright, medallion get. I don't even have to look at it to get it. I'm looking at the lava spires apparently that aren't quite spires yet they're just bubbling all right and uh we now have seven thousand sp so we can get what was that six thousand one i think there's one uh below the terrain one oh, no it's eight thousand increased stun effect okay well we'll get that after the boss that's fine i don't think i'll need stun effect for this boss i'll probably want thunderclaw though because he has uh pieces and parts of him that stand still for a little while that are damageable, so yeah, we'll probably want Thunderclaw. So let's use it, and the Construct Medallion. And move right along here. I don't know if we're gonna quite get the Silent Sands done today. I think we'll, I know we'll get Rideau's Annex done, unless I like hit a brick wall with the boss there. Um, but we might it might, we might be in for about the same amount of time with this playthrough as we were with Hugo, where I get to, like, almost the end of the Silent Sands, and then I have to call it a day, and then uh, move on after that, but... I don't know, I'm still gonna say this is gonna take four episodes total, I think, so, yeah, we'll see. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to put my controller directly on my lap while taking a drink, when the boss was going to jump out of the lava and vibrate at me. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could be a really good idea, depending on your idea of a good time, but maybe we shouldn't go there. <laughs> oh. I wanted to smack your fist in the face, except I'm not smacking your fist, I'm smacking the stuff around your fist. Okay. Yeah, that's why we reduce train effects, because now the lava only does, like, two damage to me, so... Nice. Uh, I was gonna say, what did that do again? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. So I guess I got him down to the exact amount of health he was supposed to have anyway. And we can one cycle him if I do that correctly. I haven't looked at chat to see the repercussions of me talking about a really good time yet. I don't know if anybody even caught that, but. Well, I'll find out in a moment. Go on, man. I know you want to. There we go. Nice damage. Not bad at all. Yeah, he must... It must be like a four-cycle thing. Like, basically, once you inflict 25% of his HP, he, uh... Instantly jumps back up. So, so, yeah, that's not a... I thought that was the wheel thing. It was not. This is the wheel thing. There we go. Alright, let's do it again then. Oh, right, okay. I mean, I could just tread into the lava, honestly. Is this new? Did we see that before? Yeah, we've seen this before, never mind. This is the thing where I can kind of just do this. And dodge the satellite laser. By walking between two spots. Okay. Oh. I missed completely. Oh no. What is this nocturne? Dodged the attack. I'm just gonna stand in the lava and take it. It's fine. Right, just keep whacking as best we can. So here's what I'll do. The next time he puts his head out, I'm gonna try to boost. No, I don't think I'm gonna boost. I think I'll do that for the last section. 234? Jesus Christ, man. I didn't expect that kind of damage. Alright. Get rid of 
that arm. That's fine. Well, okay. I didn't expect the uh, the wheel. I was expecting this next, but that's eh, okay. I could turn around and like try to do that. Okay. Well, I tried. I right, got it. Sweet. Come on. Show me your heart or your face, as it were. Oh my God, that shredded his health. <laughs> I that was. I didn't expect it to do that much damage. Okay, then. Yeah, it was a uh, mechanical construct, that one. So. Makes you laugh, Sundara. People who are not honest with their feelings and say the opposite of what they mean. I don't know, Marie seems fairly honest about most of the stuff that she's feeling, so. Maybe it's not like... Maybe it's a different kind of dare, then. Like, I don't know enough about that sort of stuff. Like, I don't know enough about anime to tell you, but I know there's different kinds of dares other than just soon dare. So maybe it's a different kind. Like, maybe your classification is more... is is different from that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm out of my depth. <laughs> we are... at least you caught that, but not commenting on it is more funny. There you go. Okay. You're all judging me for where I put the controller. All bosses have sections of HP. It's easiest to see with Toll. Yeah, there you go. How is that possible? He had no hand. Ignore it. <laughs> what, the little shockwave that he was doing behind me? I don't know. He, he used... There was like a jet engine in his hand or something. I don't know. It's killed you. You're not honest with your feelings? That's Ali's turf. Oh, there you go. I don't know. It seems like you're pretty honest about it, but maybe I've... Maybe I just... have misjudged from... Uh, the time I've known you. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just easy to talk to about those sorts of things. I don't know. <laughs> oh, here comes Unica. Happens when they're shy and happens most of the time when love is involved. Yeah, there you go. Fair enough. So maybe that's why Marie doesn't really show that sort of stuff around me, because there's no, like, romantical anything there, obviously. So, yeah. Maybe that's what it is. Again, I'm out of my depth. I don't know what I'm talking about. So, I don't... I don't know. But anyway... I have no idea what I'm talking about or you're talking about. So you were half conscious there? That's impressive considering it's the Devil's Corridor. You have surprisingly soft hands, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, gotta go, bye. Oh, did he? I mean, he wasn't wrong. <laughs> So you finally got the truth. Yeah, that's right, because she learned about that in the sub-boss section in the Guilty Fire. Okay. I mean, you always do that, to be fair. That's, like, practically your character trait, but, you know. Haven't seen all your masks, and sometimes you wear more than one mask at the same time. So, yeah, I guess that's fair. We all kind of wear a mask sometimes, so... It's fair. Yeah, I kind of did, like... That, well, I didn't really beat you up, but I knocked you flat on your ass when we first met, so... <laughs> How did you get here? You, you don't have the harmonica. I have it in my hand. Did you break the pipe in the Devil's Corridor in this cannon, or...? Oh, Hugo did it. Okay. Fair enough. Are you done pushing everyone away yet, Toel? <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, we, we can, uh, we can discuss the finer workings of the demonic power I've absorbed into my body later. So. Aha! Yeah, well, I guess normal's pretty relative around here, too. Fair enough. Let's just hope that I'm not thinking hang on let me let me think about how i want to phrase it because i don't want to spoil what i'm thinking yet i don't know if i want him to be the successor to house fact let's say it that way <laughs> if my hunch is correct <laughs> considering their father well he's my little brother so yeah that's pretty natural 
Wah, wah. Let's go back to base so you two can get your upgrades. Yeah, well, fair enough. Oh, okay. So, so does that mean that I can, you know, I'm not gonna have to fight Galleon when I get up to the top? Is he still gonna be pissed at me for the first time, or did I get under his skin too much? Yeah, well, listen. If if the Darklings are listening to me, <laughs> what do you what do you expect me to say? I don't know if careless as much as gung ho, but sure. I don't think I can, considering the Darklings would probably try to kill me if I did that, but thanks for the sentiment. Oh boy. See, your rewrite took so fucking much into account. Even this scene helped me! <laughs> Is Tola Sundera? Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. We haven't met his love interest in person yet in this playthrough. We gotta go find Rhea, and I think she's in the next area, so then we'll know a little better. It, the the facts, at least from what I got from Hugo's playthrough, every person in house fact, so Toll and Hugo both, um, they try to act a certain way to make themselves seem like they're disinterested or they're not like trying to be a certain way, but they basically, their emotions are given away immediately, but, uh, and the other characters can see right through them, so. That's the impression I got, anyway. Alright, let's go see the next flashback, and then we'll uh, get into the Silent Sands. It will make sense later, you can't say more than that, alright, fair enough. We'll be done with this game in two more streams anyway, so it, it's probably fine. We'll learn it soon enough. We don't have long to wait, so. Of course, I have to uh, make sure that I'm done with Devil May Cry 5 before we get to the end of this stream, because, well, there's some housekeeping that I need to do for that game as well, and we'll be getting to that after we're done with this one, but, yeah, we'll get there. Excuse me. What made you decide to come play the harmonica out on the balcony in the pale moonlight? And what ritual is that? Oh, for the... I was gonna say, this is probably the ritual to bring East into the sky, isn't it? That's the one that Toll decided to stay on the ground for, which is probably why he's gonna be a little apprehensive about this whole thing. Oh boy. Yeah, something like that. Well, good. I probably shouldn't tell you that I'm going to stay down with the commander, then. <laughs> Missy here got everything figured out, huh? How long did it take you to find out? Nightmare mode artificially inflated your time, but it took like 80 hours over a few months. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Game explains most things. You wanted the lore that bad, huh? We talked about the arc last stream. Yeah, that's the one that they don't explain, apparently. Played every fucking character on Nightmare. Oh my god. <laughs> I give you a lot of credit. I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> like, I'm honestly kind of surprised myself that I'm able to stomach playing all three of these characters. Like, again, the game, I've, I said it last time. I've said it in other times we played the game. I'll say it again. The game's kind of just... It's all right for me, it's like the definition of it, because like... It's not that there's anything specifically egregiously wrong with it, it's just kind of there in a lot of cases for me, so... I guess I just wanted to see if I would get answers for any of the questions I still had. And that's why we're here right now, so... Also, there's somebody named Zalem somewhere. Z Zalem? I wonder if they come up in other games, probably. Mm. <laughs> what was that? Oh, nothing. Of course. <laughs> I 
Origin was where you started. Lucky only three, yeah. Only played on Nightmare and very easy for a single achievement. Happy, no worries. You love this game, but it's true. Yeah, I don't... Like, I'm not trying to be mean about it. Um, it's just... It's just there for me. So... I'm here for answers less than the game itself. I'm here to see if there's any way that it fills in the holes. So... I got to be honest about it. I, I'm going to discuss it when we get done with the housekeeping stream. So that's three streams from now. I'm a little apprehensive going into the second to last suggestion, to be honest, because I'm not sure if it's my kind of game. Like, I've never really been a big fan of any of the genres that it fits into. So I, I'm gonna try to go into it unbiased, but I don't know if we'll make it past three streams of it. <laughs> uh, we'll see. She really likes you, you know? Are you sure you don't want to stay here with her and maybe, you know, settle down and have half-god children? <laughs> maybe that's a bad idea after what we've seen in God of War. Oh boy. That harmonica was a commission, an expensive AF, like probably multiple paychecks worth. Yeah, probably. It's very ornate. I mean, they show it in the title screen, little uh, the intro that plays in the title screen, so it's probably... It was probably very expensive, and also it's very plot important, so, you know. Well, sure, but... The f you won't have a part in the future left to bear if you don't have these half-god children with Rhea, Toll. <laughs> oh, boy. But he's got other ideas in his head. And yeah, that's possible. Wah, wah. <laughs> probably. Probably, yeah. I'm glad that he can see it, at the very least. I'm not the only one that's here. It's like, no, they should really... Oh, well. The thing that crossed your mind recently, the people in Skies of Arcadia would die if they breathed in the air on the ground because they would die of oxygen poisoning. Yeah, probably, because the pressure down there is, like, so high, the oxygen would probably either be really thin or really, really concentrated, and both will kill you, so... It's a fair assessment. It's probably why when we went into Deep Sky in Skies of Arcadia, we had to, like, shutter all the windows and everything. Like, if you look at the ship, like, if you go into the bridge of the ship when you're down there, or even when you're in um, the, the Dark Rift, everything is shuttered. All the windows are shuttered and everything like that. You can't walk outside. So that's probably why. It's probably because they had to pressurize the cabin. It's that obvious that they clearly love each other. I'm... Um... Obvious to me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's what happens. That's that's the risk you take going to war somewhere else. So. Anyway, off they go. And I guess the game's kind of conditioned me to look for that stuff, too, because, like, Unica and Roy had that thing that they consummated on, and then Hugo and Depona had that thing that they consummated on, so it's like... At this point, on the third character, you're kind of conditioned to look for it, you know. Do I have enough for that? Yeah, no, I don't. I'll have it after the next room. Okay. You don't pay attention to romance. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I, uh, I've said it before, but I don't usually pay attention to romantic stuff that games do when I'm the playable, like, when it's a created character, you know, like, I usually, at that point, I'm not really keen on that stuff. Because it just, I don't know. It's, it just feels like it's a waste to me. Now, this is nothing against people who, you know, do like their pairings in video games, like, you do you. I just don't see the point, really, in loving polygons like actually more so than like the game what the game itself says you know like i don't 
I don't really get it. Oh, wow, you take like no damage from, uh, from physical attacks. So I guess we're going magical. Too good either. Something like this. Yeah, I guess that stun locks him. I don't know what's really good against those guys just yet. I guess we'll have to figure it out as we go. Um, that's the middle staircase. We want to go to the left now. How the hell am I going to get across the Mask of Eyes bridge in this section? Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, you big drip, where are you going? There you are. Okay, get me the hell out of there. Uh, so is Window famous for us? I guess it's alright. Probably not great. Here you go! Okay, that does nothing to you. So you're more of the physical attacks work on you. Maybe I'll just stay away from those guys and take, like, no damage from my, uh... From my, uh, physical attacks. Because my magical attacks don't seem to do a huge chunk either. So. No, oh, well, we'll figure it out. Come down here and fight me. Not that far down here. Oh, okay. Well, I guess they'll just be down there then. And there's 5,000 SP. Nice. Put that towards some other stuff. Yeah, I have no idea how the hell I'm going to do this. Like, maybe I can use the fire to, like, float across, maybe? But I don't think I'm going to be able to do it from here. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to try, but... I don't see myself doing this without the double jump. Yeah. Okay. So this is where they start dropping the good stuff. Now we're going to start getting 10s and 50s more regularly. So we'll be able to actually afford a lot of the higher end stuff. Which is good. Uh, you know, I'm not even going to bother with that worm guy. Whatever. There we go. I do take a lot of damage, yes. I, uh... I guess I'm very gung-ho about the fact that Towel's the Berserker-type character for the game. And he doesn't even have an axe, but apparently that's the way that they uh, describe This is the part with the two guys, isn't it? Yeah. I guess that does good damage. I just need to use the charged variant, and it works the best. Okay, I blocked that, to be fair, so... I forget that this has blocking properties. It's going to be like Thunder Crash all over again for me. I'll get used to it eventually, but by that time, the game will practically be over. <laughs> so, that's okay. Alright, we should have enough for the stun effect now. Silent Sands, but I hear music, so that was a fucking lie. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I guess it would be a little boring if there was no music. I mean, I might be able to turn it off. I forget if there's sound options in this game, but I don't know if I want to. I kind of like the Silent Sands music. The bridge was for the evil ring, which makes no sense for Toll to even need. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah, he wouldn't really need the evil ring because he's he's already demonic, so he can just get into Rideau's Annex with no problem. So. You have made the mistake of coming down to my level. You will regret this. What the hell is that? Oh, he healed himself. Okay, that's cool. Get back here! No, you're not going anywhere, sir. I mean, it's okay if the slime is, like, divide. Then I get more EXP. Okay, well, that got rid of that guy pretty handily. Well... That was a little close, huh? Uh, where did I want to go in this section? I don't even know. 
I don't want to get gooped, but I do want that stuff, so I guess I'm getting gooped. It's all over my shoes! Ahem, <clears throat> there's sand in my boots. We can't get this without the double jump, so let's go get that first. And then we'll come back. And I forget if the double jump is this way or if it's uh, somewhere else. But I know there's a chest over here, so we'll grab that while we're here. There's the road of fruit. Very good. This track does bop, yeah. It's pretty good. I enjoy it, so... Say it was bad, no, but you would have been lied to. <laughs> would you prefer silence or good music? Good music 100 times out of 10. Yeah, there you go. Don't like sand. It's coarse and rough, and it gets everywhere. Yeah. You and me both, buddy. I don't know. I guess I don't mind going to the beach. Like, that's fine, but... Most of the time, sand in video games does not equate to a good time. <laughs> Where'd you go? No, oh, whatever. Oh, there he is. I mean, a couple of infernos, and down he goes, so. Oh, good. A strength up. Nice. Alright, I think we're done in this room for now. Got more enemies I can kill, I suppose. Just keep breaking the slimes. I mean, again, if they divide, it's fine. More experience for me, so. Drop some health for me. Can't wait till I get the double jump, because then I can stun those guys even easier. And we got 9,000 experience SP again, so let's take a look. I do realize I have done a meme. Oh yeah, I've, I've heard that one before. I just figured I'd react appropriately to it. So, Okay, so boost recovery is next, and that's only about 1,000 out from where we are, so... I think we'll be back here shortly because I'm going to have to come back for that double jump anyway. With the double jump to get that chest, so. I think we'll be back soon enough. Alright, so we got these guys. Nope. Uh uh. None of that. Oh, I guess some of that. Never mind. Alright, got rid of that guy. Gotta get the hell out of here before the sand sharks eat me. Forgot that those guys have more HP because they've got the red. Sand sharks, where'd you go? Not that I am uh, sad, by, saddened by your absence, but you know, it's kind of weird. All of a sudden, y'all just disappeared on me. <laughs> okay, the rota was, uh, or the rue was up here. Oh, that's right. We can't get it without double jump. Okay. I already got the road of fruit for this area, though, so we're in good shape there. Now I just need to find that last guy, and I think he's over there, and I also don't think I can get there from here, so... kind of need to make this actual jump. Yeah, there we go. Almost fall off while I'm at it. Oh, dear, dear God. Yeah, I guess I can make the jump by doing that. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Yes, you as well, sir. That you're the you in the red. That's the one that I'm trying to kill. So, goodbye, sand sharks. Oh, yeah, you don't take like, any damage from that. Oh, good, a level up, nice. They're trying to bait me down to the sand sharks again. Unfortunately for them, it didn't work out. Now, does that heal me if I take it from you, or...? Okay. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter, because I don't really need HP, but, you know. Alright, through the gate we go. Oh yeah, you're the guy that takes, like, no damage from uh, my physical attacks. 
See, I guess it's just use the charged fire and that works better on them because you can guard against their spinny spin of death. Like that. I mean, I'm okay to hit and run. I can hit and run people. Like that. Look at that, I didn't even lose all that much HP for it. Alright, we got the marble key, so let's go in here. This is where the bomb guys are, right? Yeah. I guess I should count my blessings that the bombs don't just immediately explode when I use the firepower, huh? Didn't think about that before. I think I was using the firepower before as well. But, yeah. I was trying to get the health. There we go. Alright, got him. Sweet. And this will get us the gold bracelet, correct? Yep, and that lets us double jump. Sweet. They're worse than those mages from KH1. All stuck, yeah. <laughs> they uh, they definitely do like teleporting around, that's for sure. And the ones from KH1 already like teleporting around quite a bit, so... And again, those ones also had like an invulnerability period when they used electricity, but that was pretty easy to deal with. You just walk away from them, so... Not really conducive to how people normally play action RPGs, I know, but that was the way I handled them. The room that I just left was your first room in this area. That's not how healing spells work. Yeah, there you go. And you limped away from that last area in the room. Yeah, the, the mantises, the sand sharks are the problem there. They, uh, the problem is that they continuously respawn and they don't die just yet because we don't have the correct accessory. Uh, once we get the accessory that lets us kill them permanently like we need a correct accessory to do that and once we get that we'll be able to handle that room a little bit better but well we'll get that in a minute we just got to use the double jump to go get some items first so excuse me all right so we double jump and then we can do the down thrust maneuver and it has a higher chance of stunning because we double jump so try to do that more all right this is the part where i got to do the jump okay That. There we go. Sweet. Extra ruby. Not bad. Now I think everything's at level 3, so we only need like one more of each and we'll be in good shape. So, it's good. Now for this. Um, Alright, so... Okay, there's nothing over here. Good. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was going to work. It did. But there's nothing over here anyway, so... I guess this way I can check. You guys don't seem to spawn until you, um, you yourself, uh, make a move. Ow. Ow. I don't even know why I'm fighting in this room. Like, I guess I'm just doing it to get the extra SP, but I really don't need to, you know. Yeah, whatever. Gonna have to fight down here though, because there's these guys. Okay, I guess I won't. Because I totally just ran right past them. That's fine. And we're back here. Alright, so let's buy that 10,000, I think. Worse than those mages were whatever those archangels are. Yeah, yeah, the uh, ones in the last level, I think. Are they. I think they're called angel stars. Uh, or are you thinking of the ones with the swords? Because there's the ones with the angel wings that look like little glass pots with angel wings. Um, and those have a guard. And then there's also the ones with the swords in the last level that are like... They look like miniature versions of the dark side boss. I guess both of those can be a little annoying, so... The angel wing mages? Okay, yeah. Yeah, they, they can be pretty annoying. <laughs> I do distinctly recall those guys, so... All right, so let's get boost recovery. So now we can get to boost even faster. I gotta start actually using it a little more, I think, in some cases. So, yeah, slide to the left, slide to the right, crisscross. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to crisscross these guys up a little bit. All right, slimes, I need you all in a bunch. Okay, I guess that's kind of a bunch. There we go. 
You're not getting away, sir. I've got you. I've got you in my sights. I don't even know who says that. I don't play. Uh, what is that even from? Is that from Overwatch? Probably. I don't even play those sorts of games. Never have. Probably never will. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna let you be because killing you is annoying. Let's go up here and in here. Just break the lock with my fire powers. There's a Calcet and Panacea. That's good. Pop that bad boy. Get me some extra HP. And now we'll move right along. We can get out of the Sand Shark room with the double jump. So we'll go do that. And we'll... Oops. There we go. Go give the Rota Fruit to... The Rue. Because we already got the Rota Fruit, right? Pretty sure we did. Yeah, we did. Okay. So we'll go give that to him. And then we'll move right along. Let's see you catch me now, coppers. I don't think so. Okay. Down here. Whoop, there we go, down here. I forgot to boost again. Damn it. It's okay. He's waiting for you, so you can give him a rota fruit. And that'll give us the Demon Greaves. Alright. That's pretty good. So let's pop those bad boys on before we get to the next section. And uh, then we'll be good to go. Yeah, I mean, at this point, does three strength really make a huge difference? I'm kind of still down for the Ring of Ease over the Ring of... Uh, Claria ring. Maybe I can melt the Claria ring down and get another piece of Claria ore early. <laughs> Suck the energy out of it. I don't, I don't think that's what's gonna happen, but you know. Okay, I think this is the room where we normally find Rhea, so... If there's ever going to be anything said between the two, it will probably be said now, unless they try to pull a fast one and be like, well... No, I can't tell you yet, because you're not at the top of the tower. So. The swords could do crap, but the mages killed you so many times you suffered so much. You had to attempt so many of these enemy rush rooms that starts with the behemoth, which was no... Oh, yeah, yeah, that... The room at the end, yeah, where you have to keep killing enemies to break the symbol to get to the last save point. Yeah, I remember that room. It was a pain to beat that room. I think it took us a couple of attempts when we played it, because we played it on proud mode. So, I think it took us a couple of attempts when we did it, so... I forget. It's been a few years. Those are pretty neutral demons. They sure are. They're like... They were, like, helpful normally, but then being down here on the surface of the planet with the Darklings and all the other crazy stuff with the tower, it's kind of twisted them into demons, but they aren't, like, bad demons like these ones, so... Will it? They're kind of dead. So, I don't know if it will feed you. And I guess it will if I keep doing that, but, you know... I can just dance between all of them. There. Wasn't sure if they were going to start respawning, so I just figured, eh, let's just kill them. Yes, I help who gives me food. I will not bite the hand that feeds. Yeah, it's because they're not really... The power exists somewhere else, Toll. <laughs> yeah, great. Well, there they go. Nice work. What took you so long? Yeah, the night that I didn't tell you my entire ambition. Yeah. <laughs> About that. And what's that? I don't know if you captured her, technically speaking. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, that wasn't a very nice thing to do. Yeah, uh, mm. Oh good, at least he's not trying to lie to her about it. He's not a good enough liar. 
Wah, wah. I mean, you could. The better part of you could, but, y you know. <laughs> what do you think? I'm gonna die at the end of this road? Y you're probably right. She has you in the palm of her hand, Towel. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Sounds like I know what I need to do then. Not easily, sure, but that just means I need more power! Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. Sounds like I have some work to do. I mean, isn't that how this always goes, though? Like, the hero sacrifices themselves at the end? I mean, in this case, we're more of an anti-hero, but, you know. We're not playing games anymore, Rhea. Sure. Keep telling yourself that, man. <laughs> yeah, she knows what's going on. Yeah, she's, she's well aware. And she can read them like a book. It is pretty difficult to speak clear, concise English in this form. Because the aura is kind of overpowering my ability to speak. Yeah, funny how that uh, suddenly becomes what you need to do when you look in a mirror, isn't it, Toll? <laughs> Yeah, well, fair enough. Didn't he technically accept help by accepting the demonic essence into himself? Or is that not considered help in Rhea's eyes? Like, it's help from the wrong side, but it's still help. I don't know, I'm just, just thinking out loud. Uh-huh. I mean, probably. You have been holding back from it every single other time we met you here. Excuse me. Yeah, of course she won't. <laughs> Why did I expect anything different? I will, however, give you the ability to kill these necromantic demons, so here you go. Have some silver chimes. Fuck off. <laughs> you're welcome. I mean, you're right. I will be glad that I did, because it's like one of the best accessories from here on out, because then you don't have to worry about things resurrecting. Uh, this is how you got yourself in trouble in the first place. This is how Fina got kidnapped in the first place, because you're like, Oh, leave everything to us! You tell me to accept help, and accept my faults, and look in a mirror, and then you go off and do the exact same fucking thing that I'm doing, Rhea. It's kinda difficult to take your advice when you're going to look me dead in the eye and then be a hypocrite about it. <laughs> Come on. You know, I'm gonna be mad, but it'll be explained later. Why would I be mad? The answer. The the answer to the what Rhea, what Rhea's plan is that she's so willing to not tell us that she spent the past three characters not explaining it in this very room. So. What about the harmonica? I missed that line of dialogue. Oh, okay. Well, that gives us a reason to go to Rideau's Annex, so. Because everybody else just kind of stumbled upon it, but Toll knows where it is, so now he has a reason to get there. So. And let's be clear, if I am going to get angry about it, I'm probably just going to... It's going to be like parenting at this point. I'm going to be like, you know, I'm not that mad. I'm just disappointed. 
So, yeah, it's not gonna be like actual mad. It's just gonna be like, okay, you know, whatever. <laughs> I spent all this time. At least I have the answer, you know. These little bugs. I'm even fighting them. They don't seem to take a whole ton of damage. I can't just squash them. I mean, I guess I could if I did this. Doesn't really do a whole lot of damage to them, but you know, it's enough. All right. So yeah, as you can see, now we can deal with the sand sharks because we can just shred them to pieces with our silver chimes equipped. So that's good. Getting hit by those things, that's bad. Okay, that's a bomb. And those are bugs. Let's give me all of those pickups, please. Hey man, you came down here. You sealed your own fate. Alright, bug over there. I'm just gonna leave that bug alone, it's fine. Maybe I'm not, because I'm coming back down here to deal with this guy. Okay. It's so devious that they drop bombs when they die, like... Like, that's such an ingenious and yet bastard move, you know? I guess I am dealing with the bugs. Somebody was really thinking with portals on the dev team with these goblins with the bombs, that's all I'm saying. Uh, might be able to float over this. Nope. I, I hit it too late, that's why, but I also need to actually double jump when I do that. So it'll make getting over this easier. Okay. A little late, but hey, it works. Click. No, barely anything in the story. It's okay. Toll just found out by looking at the harmonica. Okay, he found out the answer. All right, so maybe he didn't explain what it is yet. I guess I'll figure it out when we get there. Just scatter their bones upon death. You don't need chimes for that. Yeah, I mean that would be fair. Yeah. Unfortunately, their their bones are all one sprite, so Toll can't interact with them. It would make a lot more sense if you did what you said. That would be practical. So, you know. Yeah, don't worry about the story, Lifeblood, we'll get there. I've just had questions, that's all, and I'm hoping for an answer at some point, that's all. And that's the reason why we're playing through Tolls mode, is because I have questions still, and I'm hoping to get an answer soon. Alright, let's see. Oh, I don't think I can get up there from here, unfortunately. So, let's burn this, and then... Grab a Panacea? Cool. Yeah, I mean, you could basically do it the Resident Evil way, too, where you just you just uh, burn the body, but... I guess in this particular case, I get why fire doesn't work for killing the undead, because the fire magic is a product of the Black Pearl, which is also where the demons are a product of, so fire wouldn't work to burn the bodies like the zombies in most zombie media, you know? Ow, somewhat. Oh, I'm out of MP, that's also a problem. Speaking of which, there's an MP potion. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a that's a good point. Yeah, bones don't burn. They um Don't they have like a really because they're made of like calcium and stuff like that, so they have a really, really high uh, resistance to being burned, if I recall correctly. I haven't, uh, I'm no chemist or anything, but that's, uh, that's a fair point. Oh, apparently I'm also not a platformer because I just jumped myself off. <laughs> but yeah, they have, like, a high resistance to being burned because they're made of, uh, they're made of a, uh, an element that doesn't normally burn very easily. It burns at a really high temperature, so in order to burn bones, you have to burn them at a really hot temperature. I think. I think that's how it goes. I'm gonna put this on just to restock while I'm on the elevator. Oh, okay. I couldn't quite restock because I had to move. You know what I might do, actually? So I might do this, right? Get over this and then just float. There we go. That works. Have no clue. You're a biologist, not a chemist. Yeah, there you go. 
I think your your reasoning is sound, though, I think. Because I'm pretty sure if we looked it up... As a matter of fact, here, I'll do it for you. Hold on. What temperature does calcium burn at? Okay, Google didn't read it, but that's 842 degrees Celsius if we need a conversion. So yes, it burns at a really hot temperature. So burning bones doesn't really work out too well unless you have a really hot torch. And I don't know if the magical fire that we use here would be considered a really hot torch. I mean, it probably would, but it's again, it's made from the same essence as the Black Pearl. Uh, and that's where all the demons come from, so... Yeah, that was uh, the Google Assistant. So, is that Cortana? I forget. So that, But that's who was talking there. I don't, I don't have an iPhone. We don't have enough money for that. So. <laughs> get a level up. Nice. All right, now let's see if I can get across this gap without falling off and exploding. Nope. <laughs> that's okay. We can try again. Yeah, I tried to hold it up to the microphone, but I uh, might not have been holding it close enough to get the full effect. Uh, she said you have to, it burns at 1,548 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's 842 degrees Celsius, which was what the, uh, the result said, but she didn't say it, so. All right, 5,000 more SP, that'll be nice once we find another save point, which I think is coming up eventually here. I don't remember where, but it's coming up eventually. Oh good, I can just ignore that completely. <laughs> Why do the jumping puzzle? Not really a puzzle. Why do the jumping challenge when I can just ignore it completely? Alright, up we go. Oh wait, I think there's a uh, save point coming up in a few minutes here. I think it's in the room that leads to Rideau's Annex. Like, there's a way to go to the left and that leads to the save point. Okay, that's not wrong. That's a lot of bombs. Stay the away from all of those. Ooh, that's a bomb too. Ow. I was gonna say, did I get away with from that without uh, taking any damage because it buffered out? But no, it did not. So. Oh, this is the fuck you room, isn't it? I wonder if it becomes a fuck you room for Toll as well. Like, there's red sand sharks in here at some point. Well, they don't seem to be here just yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm not at the appropriate level to take on the red sand sharks just yet. I remember doing it with Hugo at, like, level 29, and they were taking, like, almost no damage when I did it, so... Do I fight through all the enemies here? I mean, the way that we need to go is up here. Yeah, I'll fight through them. Why the heck not? A little extra experience, never hurt nobody. Okay, sinking. Hold the phone. Alright, now if I remember right, there's, yeah, a locked door up here. So we gotta go up here, because this leads to Rideau's Annex, so... That's where we'll go. Okay, I thought there was an enemy up here, but there's not. And I don't need to regen because I can just unpurify this. What's better, Devil Trigger or Bury the Light? Ooh, that's a tough one. Man. Lifeblood asking the tough questions today. There you go. I think Marie's still... Might, Marie might just be taking, like, AFK. She might be taking a break for a second to go do something. That's fine. Yeah, that's a tough one. I really like both songs. Um... Hmm, uh, I probably would have to give a slight edge to Bury the Light myself, just because it's very familiar to me, because that's like the genre of music that I listened to the most when I was a teenager, so 
it like distills all of the energy of all of the old rock bands that I used to listen to into a single song. So for me, it's probably slightly better than Devil Trigger, but I do really enjoy both songs. So it's, it's tough. That's a tough one. Uh, what's the next upgrade? Bad status duration level 2 is the next one. And then SP gains at 16. We don't have enough for either one. So maybe I should save up for 16 so I can get increased SP gain. That would probably be a good idea. All right, we're Dozanix a go-go. Um, I'm going to switch to Thunderclaw because that usually does pretty good against the bosses. So unless this guy's going to be like up in the air, this should work pretty okay. I actually don't know who we're going to fight, so... We're going to fight Epona? No way. I don't believe it. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. I didn't know Rado's Annex was your uh, way of going. Oh. So they want you to stick around here so that you can prevent them from getting to Fina. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen her. You need to stop ellipsising before you say these things. People will start to read you like a book again. Uh, don't say scandalous because he doesn't even like Fina. <laughs> well, not like he likes Rhea, anyway. Oh, okay, cool, thanks. Off I go. There's no way she's gonna let me out of this room. I don't believe it. They gave me a boost max. She's never gonna let me out of this room. She let me out of this room. What the fuck? <laughs> See, there we go. There's the speed tech that I could kind of do there. Okay, how badly is this going to go? I mean, I know how to break through the door because I have demonic power, but, you know. I mean, I could just do this. And it'll let me in. Yeah. That was pretty easy. I, I wasted my boost to do it, but that was pretty easy. To be fair, there was a boost max right at the bottom of the tower, so... Didn't know the Lynx horse was in this game. Yeah, one of the characters falls in love with her, too, so that's... Uh, take that for what you will. <laughs> she did, in fact, let me out of the room from that entrance, yeah, so maybe from the other... When I come back down, she'll be like, hey, let's have a duel! Or something. Fina, long time no see. Found your sister. She basically told me to stop being uh, untrue to myself and then was untrue to herself. So, the norm. <laughs> Epona's totally listening in on this at this point. <laughs> There's no way she was like, yeah, I'm not moving from this spot. I, I don't believe it. I mean, they're sisters and they're goddesses, so it would make sense. Yeah, it left me with several burning questions, too, every time I was in that room. <laughs> yeah, what's what's the end game here, Fina? Because both of the above... Okay, so this second question, I think I already have an answer to, because... Uh, Toll's father is the head of House Fact. Obviously, he's the one that uh, trained Hugo to do what he's doing. And I'm pretty sure he's, like, I don't know if he's a traitor, but I'm pretty sure he's doing something that's not good. So. Hey, Tanum, how you doing? Welcome back. We made it a little bit further up the tower since last time. We're talking with one of the goddesses, so we can try to learn the truth of the matter. So, let's find out the truth. Maybe. If she's willing to talk about it. Yeah, so the Claria Ore was born from the Black Pearl. They manipulated silver into Claria. And uh, because they used the demonic... The thing, same thing that spawned the demons they used to make the Claria Ore. So uh, Claria amplifies the effect because it's made from the same power. Right. That was pretty, uh, pretty quick of them then. A little, yeah. Just a bit. How could they have figured... Yeah. How could they have figured all this out on the fly so it was planned? Hmm. 
So how would they have become one step ahead of us? Because there's a traitor. <laughs> Great. Yeah, Claria sounds holy because cleric. Yeah, it's it's holy, but the, the idea is that the Black Pearl is the source of all magical essence, both good and bad, in the world of East. At least that's the impression that I've gotten from the playthroughs that I've done. So every, every source of magic spawns from that, and it becomes good or bad depending on the person who uses the magic. So when the goddesses use it, they try to do it for good things, and when the darklings use it, they don't. <laughs> Yeah, so this is why they came down here, because there was a traitor, and he's probably... Okay, so I'm just gonna... I'll just go out on a limb and say it. I'm pretty sure the traitor is, is Hugo and Toll's father. Uh, and he invited the Darklings to this world somehow, so... Oh, okay, great. So... You're actually better off in this prison than you are out in the in the real world where this traitor is, so. Uh-huh. I mean, I, I guess. I don't think they would die, yeah. They would just sleep until... I wonder if they come back in one of the later East games because they just sleep for a really long time, like maybe in... East 8 or 9 or something. So maybe you shouldn't have been so mean to your girlfriend, Toll. <laughs> I kind of wish she would have, because I think I would have been a little more understanding of this. So. I hate that the failure to communicate trope is so prolific in every single source of media. It's just so easy for authors to slip that in and be like, well, this is why you didn't get those details. It's like, come on. Oh, did you? Well, I'm glad you got the clarity that you needed. At the very least. Fair enough. So find the traitor and kill him. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, I kind of figured that much. Okay, I'm gonna take this, because I probably need it. Yep, there's the ember key for that locked door. So we'll go take care of that in a moment. Thanks, Fina. I'll be back. Uh eventually and now we go downstairs and we gotta fight something right because again there's there's no way I'm getting out of this annex without fighting something now oh, here comes the cutscene hmm there are other ways try smashing it did Unica try smashing it in her playthrough I forget I'm pretty sure she mentioned trying to smash it and they were all like no Unica that'll never work so they wouldn't even let me try to smash it and require imagination to get around the obvious communication that should have taken place. Forbid the thought. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I guess I might be asking for a little bit. Oh, boy. You're welcome. Before you go. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, I noticed. I played his campaign. <laughs> He's my brother, but it's in blood only at this point, so... No more than I am. Hmm. So you think I should go talk to him? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Like, brother to brother? Or is there something more, Epona? Hmm. Yes, and Mysterious does it for you, doesn't it? Could just kidnap the person before it was said. Would be a reasonable excuse, yeah. See, I, like, I could, I could see that. I could justify that, you know? Like, it's a, okay. They wanted to tell you, but some other circumstance 
prevented them from being able to tell you beyond just, I want to tell you, but it's too painful. Like, really? <laughs> yeah, like, if there's another circumstance that swoops in and prevents them from doing that, yes, then I can justify the failure to communicate. But more often than not, there is no other circumstance. They just use it as a tool to say, no, this is why I, I withheld details from you <laughs> the whole time. It's like, okay, come on. I mean, it's possible he hates you, but it's also possible that he hates Dad for making him be the way that he is. So. Is it? Yeah, sure. I need his measurements, Toll. You need to tell me. How am I supposed to know? I haven't seen the kid for 15 years. Anyway. I'm gonna get Boost Max again, because I used it upstairs. Thank you! Now I don't have to charge it up myself. Bye, Epona. I cannot believe we got out of Rideau's Annex with no boss fight. What the hell? <laughs> How am I gonna get the other 5,300 SP I need now? 6,000, actually, because I need to get to... Um, oh, I'm level 28. I'm so screwed in this room. Let's see how much damage we do to these red sand sharks now, since I'm at not an appropriate level for this part. Are they even going to spawn in? That's the question. Like, is there still a seal, or was that a thing just because of the evil ring? I might get away with murder here. Okay, get me out. Yeah, I don't know. There might not be red sand sharks in this room. Unexpected, but not entirely bad. I will take it, even though I took still took 100 damage in this room. It's it's okay. We'll, we'll make it. It's fine. I should be using my block more, considering what I'm up against. Just shred you real quick. Alright, wind worked pretty well on these guys last time, so let's give that a shot. I think I did like 90. Holy shit. Yeah, 90. Wow. Alright, then. Just keep doing that against the dragons. Okay. Maybe not go into the sand, though. Can't catch me, Kappa! Alright, cool. Down he goes. Wonder if I would have let him sink if he would have just died. It would be kind of funny, actually. Okay. I could play jump rope with him, I suppose, but... Oh, yeah. cool. Well, we got healed for that anyway, so... Maybe Thunderclaw works better on these guys. Oh, yeah. Thunderclaw works real good on those guys. Alright, was this the room with the save point? I think one of these rooms had a save point in it. No, this is the one with the annoying bugs. Okay, well, we'll deal with the annoying bugs. Oh, wow, that didn't kill you. Okay, that did. Cool. I missed some chat. Hang on, let's see. Yeah, that actually is a good way to go about it, because, again, it breaks the trope, right? It doesn't just say, okay, well, let's... Let's use the trope as shorthand like everyone does, you know? It actually breaks the trope, so... I'd be down for it. Guess the person that goes into the relationship is Toll's brother. Yeah, yeah, Hugo is Toll's brother, and he ends up consummating his love with Epona near the end. She, she dies, though, in the process, so... It, it wasn't a good... <laughs> Nobody in this game gets to be happy with their relationships because Roy died before him and Unica could really... Well, okay, so they consummated their love and then Roy died. Uh, Epona consummated her love with Hugo and then she died. And Rhea's gonna go to sleep for practically eternity before her and Toll can consummate their love, basically. So it's it's not gonna go over well for anybody. <laughs> yeah, how cheesy is that? Yeah, yeah it's, it's tropey, that's for sure. Those are wyvern dragons, have six or more limbs, not counting the tail. So a wyvern has four, not counting the tail. Okay. 
That's that's interesting. See, I don't know enough about dragon biology either to know that for sure. That's cool. Cool little bit of trivia. No, you're not allowed to jump onto me. I'm not allowing it. Get off. I mean, I can get you off easier with the, the fire, I guess. Ow. There we go. Fire probably doesn't work too... Okay, so the fire doesn't work well on these guys at all. Fire works pretty well on you. If I can get you off of me. No, you get off of me. He's not getting off of me there. Fire doesn't work at all on you. Okay, got it. I mean, it, I guess the wind worked pretty good on me before anyway. So. I was just figuring, okay, well, they're attached to me, so let's use the thing that puts a little barrier around me. And in most circumstances, that would have worked, but not here. I don't even remember if I'm going the right way here. No, that's not the fire. Okay. And down here... Is, uh... Oh yeah, this is that slide, okay. Hold the phone. Ow, ow. Good, they even dropped a nerf for me. That's good because I needed it before I died from all this stuff. Uh, an emerald, okay. I mean, that gets me. I think that maximizes my, uh, yeah, god speed now, so that's good. Let's get the heck out of here, Scoob. I'm gonna go left because down is the way forward, so left is someplace else. And it's with these guys, okay. Uh, I guess that worked okay, but not great. See, because I'm slipping and sliding, it makes the wind power not so good because, well, I'm slipping and sliding, so I don't get anything out of it. Now, no, stop that. I cannot get back up there without uh, really motoring. Okay, that was all I really wanted was the, the health pickup, honestly. So, right, where are you? Get me the heck out of here before I get ran over. Wow. I'm alive! Okay, this is... Some Claria Ore. Good, now I can boost my power again. Now, am I in the same room just up above the, uh, the room where I came... Like, if I go down there... Is it gonna be, uh... The base area? You'll see what I mean when I get down here. If it's tri okay, okay, getting tripped up. Not good. Oh, okay, now we're good. This is the gothic suit. Okay, there's my uh, there's my armor upgrade for the area. That's good. My other armor upgrade. Loved love one dies in the moment of confession. Where have you seen that before? Oh yeah, everywhere, and I hate it. <laughs> Yeah, this game likes its tropes, apparently, so there you go. It's just n not just sad. Don't cry. It just leaves you unsatisfied. We need more fire, yeah. We we do need more fire, I think. It's just that the fire... I would think that in a place called the Silent Sands, like, apparently Pokemon is too ingrained in my brain because I don't feel like electricity working in a ground area. It just doesn't make sense in my brain, but... Hey, here we are. Thunderclaw is still OP. Shocks here, though. Except for, you know, everything that I kill with Thunderclaw. That's a big shock. Well, in a literal sense. Okay, but we're back in the base room, so that's the point. I can one-shot those guys now with the, uh, this stuff. Get me out of there before I get stuck. I think if I remember right, in one of these parts, there's a, um, a section I can break through with Thunderclaw as well. Like, there's a section of wall that I have to bust open. I forget where that is, though. I forget if it's, like, coming up ahead here or... okay. Now. There we go. Yeah, 
right here. Because I think this is where the medallion is, if I remember correctly. Okay. Have a boosted Thunderclaw, friends. Okay, so that'll drop that down. Grab all the goodies. Come back out here to find everything respawn, but that's okay. And down here we go. I don't remember where this leads us, but we're going to find out in a second. These guys don't even pose a threat anymore. They're just like, I'm going to transform, and it does absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay, there's the creeper medallion, so now I didn't forget it this time. Maybe uh, the fire will be more useful in the Blighted Blood. Probably. We'll find out. Because we're almost there, actually. We should get done with the Silent Sands now that I remember where the Creeper Medallion was. Uh, we should get done with this area before the end of the stream, even though we're we're past the two-hour point at this point, but we should get there. So, And that leads to that section there. I think we've explored everything in this room. Now, now I just need to go on that path that took us up to the sand slide and then go down it. And then we'll be good. Okay. I'm sure I'll kill these guys. I think I'm slightly underleveled at the moment anyway, so... Oh good, the laser guy got his laser off too. I'm just making a mess, hold on. Let me clean it up. You. You. I'll take that health pick up, thank you. Those are still there, good. Bye. 124 damage a tick now on that, that's nuts, man. We're doing so much damage. And we've almost got enough for increased SP gain as well, so that's good. I'm going to make use of it soon enough, once I get out of here. Okay, so i got to do this to get them off me. Actually, the wind works pretty good on them, too. So I guess I can keep the wind for specifically dealing with you. And then swap that. Okay, so L1 takes me to electricity after using the wind. Got it. Go. On small platforms like this, you can kind of like redirect the wind a little bit. It goes in a straight line usually, but you can kind of redirect it so that it goes the way that you want it to go. Hit those guys easier. And I'll stop that. Back here. Uh, I'm just gonna float over this, honestly. Yeah, okay, well. It was an idea. Sure ain't working out for me, though. Well, that was weird. Kinda like jumped on it and floated over it? Strange. Maybe because there's blocking properties on the fire, so like I guarded the attack quote-unquote, that that spike would have done to me, so that's why I ended up getting some height off that. Oh, good, I'm finding more speedrunning text. <laughs> so, yeah, great idea, pal. You almost soft-locked yourself. There you go. Excuse me. Uh, oh, what did you miss? You started being responsible again. I, you missed, uh, so Fina explained what was going on that there was a traitor amongst their ranks. Like, we got to Rideau's Annex, and we got out of there without a boss fight, which was surprising to me. Um, after that... Oh, welcome back, by the way. I, didn't, I should have said that first before I started explaining. Um, we're up, further up. We haven't gotten the Earth Dragon's Claws yet, but we're basically done with everything below the slide here. So now I just need to actually do the slide correctly uh, and go down this way without falling off. So I'm going to try to do that right now. Going like this. Hey, I did it on the first shot. Nice. So, 
And I actually even remembered to get the Creeper Medallion this time, which I forgot to do last time, so that's that's good. So, let's see what else did I get here. You're a, bud, a bad guy. Why would Zava summon Jinokras after you go to Rado, into Rado's Annex? Yeah, I guess that's fair. I don't. I was expecting because Epona was down at the bottom of the place. I was expecting maybe we duel her, but I suppose we haven't fought Kishgal yet either as a duel, so maybe that doesn't make sense. Fina gives hints but explains nothing really. Yeah, as she mentioned basically there's a traitor among the ranks of the six priests, which I was already kind of figuring, and uh, I'm pretty sure I already know who the traitor is, but. We'll, we'll get there. I mentioned it when you were gone, um, but, I mean, you probably already know who I suspect, so... Considering everything that's happened. Oh wow, I killed him before he could even transform, good lord. Uh, let's see... Earth Dragon's Claws, I think we're in here? Yeah, because I need to get them in order to go up the little incline there, so... Okay. Well, I didn't slip and slide out of the room like I did with Hugo a bunch of times. So there we go, Earth Dragon's Claws. So now we can equip those and move our way up in the Spire. Uh, let me just top off for it. Well, I guess I don't really need to because I am going to get a level up soon anyway, but... I already did it, so I might as well. And now we can run on sand normally. Ow. And run directly into that AoE that I just planted myself in front of. Okay, I got healed. Never punished. Ow. <laughs> Always punished. Okay. So, maybe if I jump, like, this way. And then just jump over this. Jump up here. Yeah. There we go. Okay, and we leveled up, so all that damage I just took was for nothing. Good. Oh yeah, the other thing that surprised me, Marie, was that we got out of that room without Red Sand Shark spawning, so I didn't expect that, but... Hey, here we are. Hold on, I gotta scratch my face. Gotta run around like a maniac while I scratch my face. The hell happened to that guy? He was stuck in midair. Oh my god, I'm finding more glitches. I just found one where I got a boost off of uh, a horizontal spike thing with the fire. So as if that wasn't bad enough. I'm only doing this until I kill all the bugs, by the way. That's why I'm running like a maniac, just until I kill all the bugs. And you know, I suppose I could like boost and then do it. Yeah, we got out of that one room without the red sand sharks killing me. Like crazy. Didn't expect that either. Alright, and off we go. I was gonna say, I think we're almost to the boss, actually, so now we'll, uh, we'll check him out. Uh uh. Blocking that shit. Alright, let me out of the cutscene so I can grab his goodies. I guess it wasn't that much, but. It's enough! It got me to 19,000, and that's 3,000 more than I need to get increased SP gain. <laughs> so, sweet. Let's grab it then, shall we? And this will make the Blighted Blood and the Demonic Core uh, quite nice for getting more SP, because we should get quite a bit now. We'll, uh, let's see, so the next thing we'll get is just going to be bad status duration. And then I'll probably get Hasten Skill Recovery, no, maybe. Maybe I'll get that and then get Effective Herbs. No, I'll probably get Increased Effective Herbs first. Uh, basically, I want to work my way up to getting a uh, reduced MP usage level 1. But we've been doing the same sort of 
upgrades that we did in all three with all three characters, so we'll we'll make it work. It's fine. Let's see here. What else did I miss? You call that transforming? I call that getting bigger. Yeah, I guess it's you know a little bit of A, a little bit of B, maybe. Imagine E6 where you don't get traction granting footwear. Oh God, how many ice levels do they throw at you in that one? Good Lord. Oh no, I have to deal with a slightly annoying gimmick. How will I ever get these claws? This is boring. I guess compared to some of the other accessories, yeah, it's a little bit less of a good use, but eh, whatever. It's fine. I don't think we really use them too much after this area. No, we use them in the Zava boss fight too, I think, but other than that, I don't think we really do. You're a demon, so they don't have to spawn since they only exist to power the evil ring, yeah. I guess they knew that by this point we'd be sick of fighting those red sand sharks, and I was under-leveled, so it definitely wouldn't have worked out for me. <laughs> um, we use a lot of MP in the next one, so I'm going to put the Ring of Ease on, actually. Uh, what else am I going to use? Thunderclaw? Yeah, probably Thunderclaw. I might swap over to the fire, but we'll see. Long range attacks worked really well in this fight with both Unica and Hugo, but my long range attack like swings me out that way with the wind, so I don't know if it'll be as good. So I might just use Thunderclaw instead. Alright, Creeper's Chamber. Let's see what he's got. I can't believe we're already here at the end of stream number two. And we got pretty much everything as well, so like I don't I don't think we missed anything back there. I'm kinda surprised, honestly. Nope, I'm just gonna take the damage and damage boost through that. I can get some HP back from getting Thunderclaw use, so. Get me the hell off of there before I get swamped or something. Nope, stop that. Stop that right now. Sorry if there's a whole bunch of mashing noises in the background. I'm just mashing the square button for my life. Okay, that's that. Next? Okay. Yeah, we're in bullet hell section now. Okay, there we go. I should have enough HP to damage boost through most of it. We'll see. Might even use the demon mode, honestly. Like, I might boost... Especially since I've, like, got all of the extra uh, ability to do that. Okay. I got my boost in a second so I can get through the next phase without having to worry about it as much. Like that. I'm still getting sucked in, though. What happened there? Good lord. Stop that right now. There we go. I don't know if I'm gonna make it here. Well, I did get my boost back, so now I can just kind of shred through these guys a little bit easier. Say, does that hit like everybody? Because that'd be kind of cool if it did. It did. That gets rid of you. You're almost dead as well. Okay, I'm almost dead as well, so I'd better be more careful. Okay. I needed to boost there because I wasn't sure if I was actually going to make it if I didn't boost, so I said, nope, I'm already close, so I might as well. <laughs> That will work. I don't think we beat that guy first try on any of my other attempts. No, I think we did with Hugo, actually. Still, beat him first try on a melee character, so I'm, I'm good with that. I'm okay with that. Is that a plant? I mean, I guess. Yeah, it's some kind of plant, maybe. A vague notion of a plant. Well, it's dead now, but, you know. Oh yeah, I forgot, we gotta see Hugo at the end of this. 
So we get Hugo scene, and then we get a flashback, and then we're in the Blighted Blood. Did you have fun catching up, Hugo? He looks a little out of breath. I don't know if challenging you at this point would work. So, Yeah, fuck yeah, time for Castlevania. Yeah, for a few minutes. Like, I'll probably go to the second save point there, and then we'll call it a day. But if that's the case, we might actually finish Toll Mode tomorrow. That would be crazy. I would have saved even more time. I thought I was going super fast with Hugo, but we might save even more time in Toll Mode. We'll see. Why is it in so many games the boss of a desert area is a giant plant? I don't know, that's a good question. You'd think that the plants would be, like, not evil, considering they're, like, the only thing that blooms in the desert. But then again, maybe the harsh environment of the desert is why they're evil and trying to kill you? I don't know. Just spitballing. So. Short game. How many times must I say that was the motivator for you suggesting this? No, it's okay, yeah. I'm, I'm good with it. I'm just surprised how much time save I've had in... I know I've played it three times at this point, but I'm just surprised how much time I saved between Unica mode to Hugo's mode and now between Hugo's and Toll's. Like, I shaved an entire stream off between Unica and Hugo mode, and now I'm going to be shaving another half stream off in Toll mode, potentially, if we beat the game by next time, so. Excuse me. Uh, well, yeah, you, you've got uh, the whole weight of house fact on your shoulders, whereas I have no weight on my shoulders. That's true, I mean, I have Thunderclaw, but that's still like a melee-based magical attack, so... You're very good at this, little brother. Never let anyone tell you any different. Yeah, put the plant boss in a forest. That's not the problem. The problem is why the fuck is there a giant plant? Yeah. Fair enough. It would make sense for it to be in a forest because then everything, you know, it's the, there's an abundance of plants then, right? So it would make sense that some of them would try to kill you because they're everywhere. So I see what you're saying. Uh-huh. I knew what I needed to do, and so I pursued it, and left you with all of the bullshit of the politics of House Facts. <laughs> Great. Do you think I think before I do, little brother? Because if you do, you're wrong. Wah, wah. Why would you want to compete with it? You shouldn't... Try to be me. I thought we established this in your playthrough. Okay, fair enough. So we're gonna fight Hugo later, most li likely. Are we gonna fight Unica later? I don't really think she would want to fight us at this point. In all honesty, like Hugo, I can see it, but I don't think Unica is gonna want to fight us. Also, you might want to use your crystal on that statue that I turned into an ancient dark demon. Oh, here we go. Well, this is going to be a problem for him. We established previously that Dallas gave him no reason for accepting this power, but now because he's off-screen and I'm not playing as him, he'll accept the power and become like a really strong boss fight. Great. Like, it was marginally useful when we were playing as him. Now, it'll be far more useful because he's an NPC. Uh, how much SP do I have? 3,535. Okay, so we're not quite there yet, but we'll get there. Yeah, Hugo dies and Epona lives in that this one. Oh, that would suck for Toll. My brother, no! How do you like uh, Thunderclaw? You don't. That's good for me. Bad for you, but good for me. 
And it kind of stun locks these guys too, which is kind of nice because they can be a little annoying with all of the stuff that they're doing, so. Uh uh. Also, like how it kind of locks onto them too, like you don't have to. You don't have to turn around as much to get the, get to hit them, you know. So that's kind of nice. Oh, another one of these. Okay, hold on. Just charge it all the way up so I can get through it. I don't remember what was over here. This is the spot with the. Uh... Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought this was the spot with the. Um... With the seal. Out. Oh. guys first so I can grab my treasure. 10,000 SP. Very nice. Yeah, I thought this was the section that like goes down here and there's a seal that you could double jump up to, but you uh, can't get through it unless you go from the other side. I think that's a little later. Yeah, it's like, come on, Toll, it'd be your own fault if uh, Hugo dies in this one because of the, the demonic powers that you were not there to stop him from taking. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Hey, how come you can just walk right under that? I mean, I I would understand if it was, like, an ancient demon barrier because you're a demon, but those are spikes, dude. Those are, like, a physical object. That's not fair. I want to do that. I might use wind here. It seems like it's pretty effective. So... Because you kind of teleport behind them and turn around with these guys. Like, they're human shapes, so you kind of can slide behind them. You know? I mean, I could just beat them up like that. That works, too. Right, pop that down. I should probably use Thunderclaw or Fire here, though, because then I don't, like, you know, hit the spikes while I'm at it. Alright. Wait for it. It's a good thing these aren't on a timer. I can just kind of take my time going through. Oh, okay. He's ducking, ducking and diving all my attacks. That's okay. Not for long he isn't. Right, he's got a whole bunch of friends over here, so let's go get them. Or just get this guy first. Uh, I think if I remember right, we want to go to the right first. No, that's where the seal is, is to the right, I think. Here. This is the spot where we can't get through yet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll kill these guys anyway. Why the hell not? Uh-uh. I don't know how I just dodged that, but uh-uh. See, because there's a seal up here that obviously we can't get through because... Well, that's what a seal does. I'm sure that was common knowledge to everyone, but in case it wasn't, allow me to explain. Like I'm making coffee in Le Cafe LeBlanc again. It was so long ago. I didn't make coffee in Strikers, so... You probably can, I just didn't get the chance to because I stopped playing the game early because I didn't like where they were going with the story. And the gameplay was only okay for me. Um, okay. Three, four? Four? Sure. Four. Just keep using the fire. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's got boost max. That's nice. This will allow me to go down the hole if I want to. That'll get me behind the seal, so that's good. Yeah, goblins are smaller than humans, yes. Apparently in this game, though, like, when you use the wind power on enemies that are too small, you don't teleport behind them and turn around. You uh, just sort of dash right through them. So apparently in this game, goblins are considered large enough to where I can... Uh, like, the game registers that they're large enough that I can go behind them and turn around, even though they're smaller than me. So. But hey, it all works. Oh, 
Like, I'm just using a baseline fire in a lot of these cases, and it still it works pretty good. Again, all of Toll's powers I've enjoyed using. They're all pretty good. Let's see. I could go up. I think I remember going down the hole first, though, before I went up. I guess it doesn't hurt to kill these guys before I go up there. Yeah, because that leads out further into the tower. You can see it by the lighting there. So I'm just going to go over here because I can't see when the spikes are down. There. And down the hole we go! Gently uh, alight with the fire tornado. Ow. Yeah, I guess that's one way to make sure that I'm paying attention. Just jump right into me, all, all right. I'm glad that worked. They weren't taking a whole lot of damage, but that's because they're red enemies, so, like, they don't take a whole lot of damage. Jimenez, he was small enough to walk under the spikes, no sweat. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good point, actually. I didn't think about that. That's a fair point. There's the Rota Fruit. Swear to God, enemies in video games are the single most stupid things, only outclassed by the protagonist and his friends. Yeah, sometimes they don't exactly make smart decisions, do they? I'm gonna Thunderclaw, actually, because I could use a little extra HP. So I'll use it. Actually, I'm getting a level up, so I guess I don't need the HP. But we're getting to use the fire, so that's good. Because Thunderclaw got enough use in the last level, so let's let's use our tornado. Let's use our uppercut. Hit them with a little body body uppa. I actually don't know what that's from either. But I made the reference, so there you go. Alright, now we'll get back to where we were. And we are sitting pretty in terms of our uh, SP count at the moment. Hi, Mr. Chrome. I know you want to charge. Okay, that works too. Uh, I'll go down and kill this guy too. Alright, and then up here we go. Ooh, that was a little close, wasn't it? Uh-uh. Actually getting the timing down for guarding, that's impressive. I've impressed even myself. The only thing I wish with the fire uh, tornado is I wish it had more, like... I kind of wish this for Godspeed, too. Like, I wish you could use it more in the air a little bit. Like, you could kind of jump out of it if you use it first, but... I mean, it's fine the way it is. I just think it would get more use as a platforming option if you could jump out of it. Like, use it as a, a third jump or something. Hey, John, thank you for resubscribing. Welcome back. 28 months, so let's see. What did we establish 20 was last time? It was Viginti Chromatic. So that's Octa Viginti Chromatic, I think. But uh, in any case, yeah, thanks for resubscribing, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate all the support. How's life? Going pretty good. I was uh, sick last at the end of this at the end of this past weekend and the beginning of this week, so I had to delay all the streams to these last three days of the week. But yeah, it's going pretty good. The only thing I have to do now is that I'm still a little congested in the head because I had to uh, cancel an uh, ENT appointment where I was going to get my ears cleaned out. I'm sorry if that's gross for anyone, but I was going to get my ears cleaned out, but I got sick and I didn't want to give it to anybody in the office, so. Uh, that's rescheduled now for Monday, so once that's done, I will be in great shape. <laughs> My head will be empty, as empty as it normally is, because normally around here we are no thoughts head empty. So. Uh, I think 20... I think Dodeca was 12, actually, if I remember correctly. I'd have to look back, but I'm pretty sure Dodeca is 12, so... First thing should be an exclamation point. No, you're all you're all good. It's fine. Have to be responsible after the stream ends. Oh, there you go. Doing work right now. Your fiance just had that done yesterday. Okay, there you go. Yeah, it's it's nice because 
I, I have narrow ear canals personally, so like I have to get it done once a year or else my ears just clog all the way up and I get like tinnitus and I get, obviously I have a little bit of hearing loss, temporary of course, but yeah, a little bit of hearing loss, so. Are you on break or what? Oh, for John doing his work. No, he, I mean, he can multitask. He's pretty good at it, from what I recall. So maybe he's just chatting while he's got a free minute in between clients. I don't know. God can't sort numbers without me. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if God was just meant to be like separated from the rest, but it sounded funny the way you said it because it's like you, you got to go up to heaven every now and then, lifeblood, and be like, okay, God, what's what's the accounting problem now, man? D you, you can't use an abacus anymore, man. That's that's why we <laughs> have tax software. It's not okay to use an abacus anymore, God. Stop that. <laughs> don't do shapes. What do you take me for? <laughs> Yeah, damn right you are. There you go. <laughs> you have an L-shaped desk and you swivel. There you go, John. That's cool. Gives you something to do exercise-wise. I take constant breaks at my desk as well, so like I, I know the feeling. I have to get up and move around a little bit, or I feel like my legs are falling asleep. So, because I'm getting up constantly and taking breaks constantly, I'm also swiveling between projects myself. Although, I think your projects probably earn you a little more money than my projects earn you. <laughs> to be fair. So. Trying to get around this guy before he hits me with the stone soup. There we go. It's more of a stone breath, but... Soup was the word on my mind, so there you go. Nope. Uh-oh. These plants aren't too bad, though, because you can stun lock them so that they don't stone you. So, and I mean stone breath you, if they don't actually stone you. Wait for that to go around. All we gotta do now is find the next save point and then we're done here today. It's all good though. I'll handle the, uh, the plant in a moment once I can handle the, the angler fish. I'll just hit and run. It's always worked pretty well for me. There we go. Gotta level up even while we're at it. This room has a lot of options in terms of where I can go. If I remember right, down actually leads to where you end up if you fall off of all of these other places, so we'll go down first. That guy, got that guy. Didn't get hit by the electricity on the way back through. This is good. I almost just sh Shinryuken'd into that one. Didn't even stun that guy. Okay, so let's go down first, because I think there's a Topaz down here? I've played this game too many times. I'm starting to remember what chest is where. <laughs> When I left you, East Origin, I was but a learner. Now I am the master. That's not even remotely true, but hey. I know a little more about it than I did at the start of all this, this whole adventure. I might have to backload the streams for next week now that I'm thinking about it as well, if we get done with East Origin tomorrow. Uh, because if we do get done with it tomorrow, um, I still have to finish Devil May Cry 5. Uh, I have to re-beat it because I, I mentioned this before, but the, uh, we had the PAL version here at home. So any DLC, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let me out. Uh, any DLC for the PAL version on my NTSC, uh, PlayStation 4 would not work. So I have to basically re-beat the whole game in order to, uh, in order to play, uh, test out Virgil on the Bloody Palace, so. I started that today. Um, I didn't get very far, but I started that today, so we'll see what day I end up finishing it next week. I don't know. Anyway, Thunder Closet Maximum, so that's good. It was a worthwhile trip. Now let's just not trip and fall flat on our face up here, or else we'll end up back here again. Check chat before I go. 
I think it's worth mentioning on that note, Help, I'm out of the 10,000th dimension, but you have another problem. You're kind of stuck in the back rooms. Oh, the back rooms. Oh, boy. <laughs> I've heard things about that game. I, I don't know much about it, but I've heard things. They did fix their Wi-Fi problem, so on that front, you're fine. Okay, well, that's not too bad, then. <laughs> you like this forest. You predict the boss is a giant worm. That's not a bad prediction, considering. I mean, we, uh... The boss of the, uh, whatchamacallit, would probably want to have a word with you. The boss of the second area, the water area, would probably want to have a word with you, but... It's not a bad guess. I'm gonna go this way. I don't remember what's this way first, so I'm gonna go this way first. I feel like this is the way forward, actually. Maybe? No, I don't think so, actually. No, I think back on it. I'm gonna try going this way first. No, this is not the way forward. There's a chest here, I think. Hit and run! Ow! Hit and run! I'm gonna do this, see what this does. Oh, that's nice. Just keep uppercutting there, Tull. We'll get through them eventually. There. Got him. That boost does, in fact, work nicely for situations like that. <laughs> There's the crimson. Okay, yeah, yeah, the door up north was locked and we needed the key to go get- okay. My, um, memory of the game was not shoddy. Good. Let me top off while I'm thinking about it. Take a drink while I'm waiting. Alright, now if I remember correctly, the next statue is- you have to, like- um, when you go through the Crimson Key door, there's like a left that you can take, and that's where the statue, the next statue is. Which is good, because, uh, we haven't saved in a little while. <laughs> and I would like to. Please and thank you. Alright. Let's hop over here. I'm just gonna quickly go like that. And there we go. Crimson Key in. You're getting hit, so you're successful with your hit and run. Yes, that is true. <laughs> that is a fair assessment, yes. Ooh, yeah, you can teleport out of that, too. Probably don't take much damage from my magic, do you? Well, I guess it doesn't matter, because you're dead, so... Okay. That was mean. I still got hit by it. Oh, well. It's all good. You stopped that with that boom, boom stuff, whatever you were doing, getting teleporting behind me. I do that, not you. You're not allowed. Okay. See if I can stun him. There we go. Oh, I did hit him with the fire. A little bit. Uh uh. I'll wait for you, sir. I wasn't sure if I was going to make that, because that has a little more AoE than it looks like it does, so... It probably would have hit me if I would have stayed on the ground. Alright, go ahead, do your thing. Wait for it to dissipate, and then off we go. I guess I could have just, like... got Used the guard properties to uh, block that, but, you know... Okay. I think I still got hit there. Yeah, well... Stop moving! There we go. He broke out of it first, unfortunately. That's okay, when I got him in the front of. Okay, back out here. Let's keep moving. Like I said, I think we're almost to the next statue. I think it's only like another couple of rooms and then we're there. And then, uh... We'll save it, we'll call it a day, and we'll come back tomorrow and we'll see what happens. I'll probably... I mean, we're like halfway through the Blighted Blood at this point, so if I don't beat it tomorrow, then I'll probably be getting like really stuck on a boss or something, if that's the case. Yeah, this is the room right here. Oh yeah, I don't have the uh, stuff to, to uh, kill those guys. Hang on, because these guys are undead, so I need to use the Silver Chimes. These guys, I don't think so, but no, because I killed them before this without uh, having the silver chimes on, so. Yeah. Actually, they take pretty decent damage from the fire, all things considered. Here's my level up, that's nice. But yeah, this is the section that we need to go to right here, basically. 
in order to uh, get to the next save point. I think there's some enemies in this room, but I can probably handle them. Okay, can I jump, please? That would be nice. These guys do a hell of a lot of damage with those, so... Well, we got some HP back out of it, so that's good. I was gonna say, if you could die directly in front of the statue, that'd be perfect for me, but didn't quite get enough damage off. All right, and here we go. We have a statue. We have a checkpoint. Very good. I have 50,000 almost SP to burn, so let's burn through it, shall we? Uh, what do we want here? Actually, drop rate plus effective herbs might be kind of nice because then we get even more items and that means we get more herbs. And if we get more herbs and we increase their effect, yeah, I don't really need to worry too much after, at that point about uh, healing myself because we should get quite a few <laughs> of them. So I think I might do that. Let's, let's do that. Buy some enhancements. And there we go. And then, uh, what was the other one? Herbs. There we go. Yeah, another hour later, yeah. It's, uh, probably a little more than that before we finish the game, but, uh, yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I think we're almost there, and then it's like it takes an hour to get there, yeah. Thankfully, my muscle memory of the game was good enough to remember where the statue was. But will my muscle memory be enough to get us through the remainder of Toll Mode, or will we hit a little block somewhere in the Blighted Blood or the Demonic Core? Find out on the next episode of East Origin the Stream Edition, which will potentially be the final episode. Um, the Demonic Core is a little long, and it depends on the cutscenes and everything, but we'll, we'll see. You never know. It might, it might go okay. We'll see. In any case, thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate you coming out to Twitch and YouTube to check out the stream, and I'll see all of you on the next one, which will be tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Until then, everybody, take care, and have a good one. Excuse me. Figures, I'm still having lunch, decide to pay me a visit hours and hours after I ate it. It was good, though. I made pasta, so...